reported. I mean, it's, you've, you've just limited half of my vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the same, though. Because I was going to say, I, I might be quieter than normal if no bad words. No, the, you can say a <laughs> bad word. I was only joking. It's only certain <laughs> bad words that Twitch doesn't like. I'm, gu I'm guessing they're more on the um, obscene yes. end of the list. Yes. Mm. How dare you, you rat scallion, you? <laughs> I'd get you banned for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've not got images of all these orcs of having really old hoity-toity British accents. So, so, oh, how dare you do that, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I say. I say, you rapscallion. <laughs> you made me drop my monocle. And it appears that my top hat has fell on off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, what have I started? <laughs> Right, so, you uh, just finished wrecking that boat. Yep. And you're all back in here. Yep. In this hut. And he's explaining to you, let me remember, that you were going to go tomorrow. He was going to set off tomorrow. Is there anything you want to do before at least a week journey on, on the sea, open sea? Um, they'll, they'll provide you with rations while you're on the boat, so you don't need to buy rations or anything like that. You've got loads of meat. Oh. Meat and... Unless you're a vegetarian, but we don't believe in that here. <laughs> 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 um, I haven't really got anything that I wanted to do. No. Would, would I be able to carry a couple of the old goblin corpses on, just for, you know, extra food? Yeah. Goblins are not going to like it, though. Oh, give a fuck. I'm fairly sure the goblins are upset with us already, so... Yeah. But there's only, like, two of them left. <laughs> Although, live meat is fresher, isn't it? It is indeed. Don't be looking at me. Yeah, I've got a Vexal bone. Yeah. Nothing good on here. Vexal bone, yeah. How how would I go about capturing a live one? Capturing a live one? Shiny things? You'd have to, uh, while they're not looking, grab it. I in suppose. fact, in fact do, I, do I even need to bother trying to capture it? I can just walk up and grab it. <laughs> Are these the goblins? Yeah. Good eating in yeah. one of them. I'm not, they're, they're just carrying in their tent anyway, so. Just go in, grab them, off we go. Yeah. As long as you've got a bag big enough to fit one in or tie it up. Just set the top of it. <laughs> this is where a bag of holding would have come in handy. Well, I do have a big bag of things. I could, I could put them in my bag of things. You could put them in your bag of things. Yeah. In fact, I might know what to take about my bag of things. It might become a thing. Yeah, there, there you go. You'd have to feed it, though. Boss. Can I keep it as a pet, boss? I look after it. You got plenty of pets, though. Look at all these little goblins. Yeah, but this one's scared of me, boss. <laughs> That's true. I like seeing the fright in its eyes. Yeah, you can keep it if you want. Just Thanks, boss. Out. I'll take real good care of it, boss. All the ones who's not here. Holding it up and clapping it on the head. Yeah. What are you so... naming it? Oh, I don't know, Moxes. It's got, you've got to give it a name. I know how I name it. What kind of noise does it make when it hits it? <laughs> and that's his name. Well, find out then. Well, the DM needs to tell me what kind of noise it makes when I slap it. Yeah. It makes a... a squealy noise. Like... Oh, well, that's his name's then, boss! It's going to be called Squeals, isn't it? <laughs> Wait until you're asleep. Little Squeals. -es. It's a mouthy little Squeals, isn't it? It is a mouthy Squeals. -es. 
We might need to shoot it up. I'm sure we could find some needle and thread. Good idea, Moxes. I like that idea. You've probably got some in your bag of things. Oh, I did the checks. <laughs> no, you don't have any. You have some rope. It's too thick to sew anything together with. No string. So, so you just sleep tonight until the morning? Yeah. Yeah. Cut, cut yeah. my new pit. <laughs> so, right and early in the morning, the camp is, um, I don't know what the word is, decamping? Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> decamping? <laughs> Taking everything down and they're all loading it, everything onto the ships. You know, it's the arrival has nicked the goblin ship. And there's no, the only goblin that's left is the one that you've captured. Can we see the shepherd of the old they sailed away? No, they're, they're all getting on it. Down here. So they've not left yet? No, they haven't left yet. What would you like to do? You can go have a look. Yeah. Well, can I come down, can I come down to here and show, shout oi and throw my pet at them? Yeah. I don't want the pit anymore. It's made, they've made me angry that they're still in the boat. Is it still tied up? Yeah, can I throw it like a bolus? <laughs> <laughs> right, swings around your head. You release it, it hits the side of the boat and lands in the water. And then you hear, Oi, what are you doing? This is our boat now. And climb on this rock. Boxes! They're trying to steal it! Um. Well, what do you want me to do about it? It's not your boat, your boat is over here. It's, the old, it's a goblin's boat that they're nicking. Oh, it's up to you if you want to pass one. Is that the back end of the boat with the rudder? Which one? This, yeah. 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 Uh, what would it take for me to jump in and try and snap it? Uh, you'd have to wade through about five, is that five, ten foot of water. Can I not jump from this rock? You could, you can try if you want. If you want that. It's only like five foot in it. Yeah. Uh, what do I want me to roll for that? An athletics check. Not acrobatics. Yeah, if you want to do ac acrobatics, makes just as much sense. 18. Yeah, you jump onto their boat. All right. And there's a big ogre looking down at you. What are you doing on our boat? Can I try climb on top of him? Like I do with <laughs> rocks. I think you should get advantage because you've got pretty good at doing it with me. <laughs> Muscle memory thing. In case you want to fight her. Right. So you're going to try and climb on him? Yeah. Yeah, you can climb on him. He tries to grab you. He took you off. So he's doing a grapple. Yeah, we'll have a go at grappling then. Yeah, he's gonna try and chuck you off. Where's... What's his strength? Awesome. He gets 11. Not 15. Right, you get on top of him and he can't. He's behind his head. Does he have that, um,. Strap like he does on the picture, that necklace. Yeah. I want to try and pull it so it's choking him, creating a distraction. You see, creating a distraction. Do I need to do a strength check or something? She's, you're actively trying to strangle him. Kind of. 
We'll just cut them off. Yeah. More of a distraction so that they can get on the boat or whatever. No. Bear in mind how heavy I am and how big I am. See if I jumped off the rock and just grabbed the side of the boat. Could that damage it doing that? Yeah. Probably. What do you think? Good, yeah? Like if I had to somehow get on here and then take a run and jump it, just, just using myself as flying fodder. Alright, so... Just to make it easier. I like how the others are just stood there watching us do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's good entertainment. I want to see what happens first, you know, like, but I'll, I'll roll initiative. <laughs> do you want us, do you want us all to roll initiative or just... Bloody hell. <laughs> right, so... Walk. No. You need to select the tokens. Yeah, I've... There you go. I've got exactly the same. Landing? No, descending. You want? There we go. Right, nice. so... Mox is first. Well, I'm trying to strangle this ogre. Or at least distract him. Go for the ears, boxes. <laughs> well, I've got hold of his necklace, the thing that's round his neck, and I'm just pulling it as hard as I can. Okay. <laughs> Which isn't very hard, considering No, it's your not size. very hard. <laughs> but, it's, but it's a distraction. Yeah, so you're going to do try and do that. Yeah. So I need to move myself to there, because that's about where I am. All right, so he needs a grapple check, doesn't he? If he's trying to throw me off again, yeah. Yeah. Cause I'm technically not grappling him. I'm because I'm too small. I can't do it. I can't grapple him. But what's that? He got nineteen. Oh fuck! Whoa! Oh, yes! <laughs> right, you're still on. He is going to. Uh, he's gonna poke you with a javelin mox. Can he reach? I am being flailed about. A seventeen misses anyway. Okay. Other orc is going to do the same. Oh, 20 hits. Why is it not rolling damage? 1d6 plus... 5 hit points. That's fine. Pokes you with a javelin. Ugh. And then, it, now it's Roxy's go. Rox, so jump it's... on the boat! I'm coming, Roxy! I, so... I rolled a 15 on my initiative. Did it not go on? It hasn't come off. As... No. It don't want to get different. Which one is it? Auric. Auric. Yeah, he, would, he, even... he would go before me, actually. Yeah. yeah. Is he rolled a 15? Go on to your settings on the turn order. Uh, on a... I've forgotten how you do it. Just click on... Click on Auric. On his token, and then open his sheet and roll it for him manually. I can just do it this guy. No, because it'll come up as R, wouldn't it? Oh no, it didn't. And then I edit it. Yeah. To fifteen. Yeah. There we go. All right, well. Ah. Oh. Descending. And I'll go. Boop, boop. 
There, there, there we, we go. go. We started. Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll tackle of the the orc, and I'll move forward five feet. Yep. So I will attack this one. With a fireball. Fourteen is a hit on the arc. Yep. Nine then. Then you hit him square, and that's that's hurt him quite a lot. He starts reeling back from the fireball. Oh, then my turn. Okay, uh, it's Roxy's go. No, because I'm so big, what would be the chances of me being able to fall forward and grabbing onto the edge of the boat while my feet are still on the rock and making like a kind of bridge? Because right. I'm 10 feet tall, so. Yeah, you could probably do it. You'd need a athletics check. Yep, yeah, you can fall forward and grab hold of the boat. Right, so I'm basically making a bridge from the boat to the to the rock. Yep. Yeah. And I'm I'm shouting, Moxes! Moxes! Run over me! <laughs> <laughs> Try and get up to steal the big guy over the top of me and get him back onto land. And that ends my turn, I guess. Vic, it's your go. Yeah, not a lot I can do. Um, you run over me. <laughs> Getting a bit crowded over there. Um, okay, well, bonus action. Pull up the bone. Pull up the bone club. And cash Chalili, just in case. And then, action. Um, you know what? I'm going to slap a guidance on Hank just in case he decides to do something funky. Okay. So that's a D4 to any your next roll that you make, basically. Um, awesome. Cheers. Ability check. So, Hank, it's your go. You see, Rox has made a, a um, bridge yeah. of human, well, not human, ogre bridge. <laughs> Hank kind of looks at the carnage that's going on. He's like, I want a bit of fun in this. So he goes to run across rocks, uh, which I think that's five, ten, to the ogre and uh, attack with a great axe. Yep. Uh, which is that one. That's a miss, unfortunately. Swing your axe and you just miss him. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to go swinging past and hit the mast instead. <laughs> Mox. Right, she's going to shout back to Rox. This one ain't as cooperative as you. And she's going to attempt to steer him in the direction that Rox has told her to. Oh, he's raised that. Over, over the ogre that's made a bridge. Okay. Is that your go? How am I, how am I doing that? Wait, well, you're just going to try and pull it, are you? Yeah, like, like a horse. Steer it. <laughs> <laughs> Kick with my feet. To make him go faster. <laughs> Giddy up! Right, okay. It's all like that I've seen in the Hobbit and the Desolation of Smaug, where Legolas puts the dagger inside the ogre's head and steers him into the tower. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm doing anyway. 
August sound. So, so you're gonna try and stare him? Yeah. Towards the other ogre? Yeah, to, to use him as a bridge. Alright, so he's gonna... Oh, he can reach rocks. So he's gonna hit rocks. On one. So he swings with his club, he rolls a 20. That's a hit. He does 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Can you make me a, a no, yeah, athletics check to see if you can s still hold on? Yeah, only just, but you're still holding on. My fingernails. <laughs> wax you over the head with a club. Like that little goblin. Ark is going to poke Mox. Not with that, he's not. <laughs> and then he's going to have a go at poking you with his javelin. Oh, 18 to hit. Javelin is 1d6. Plus 3. Six hit points. He pokes you again. Ugh. Get the pokey ones. Pokey ones are poking me. <laughs> All right. Y'all go. There's a ogre bridge. Was just being hit over the head with a big club. A the ogre on the boat swinging wildly with his club, trying to get a goblin off his head. <laughs> what do you want to do? Want to move forward another five feet? And I'm going to shoot one of the orcs that are stabbing Mox with the spear. So a firebolt will just end up damaging her. But yeah, I'm going to get another firebolt at the same ogre I did before. Yep. 23 is a hit. Roll damage. Big money, Nguami. On the 9 again. Yep, he's dead. He falls in a slump. Fine. Dead thing there is. Yep, he's dead. Slumps over, falls over the side of the boat. And there's a splush. That's not the one that was hitting me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rox, what do you want to do? You've been hit over the head with a big, massive club. <laughs> uh, well, that's kind of made me mad, and I'm shouting at Mox. I'm like, Moxes, go for the ears, Moxes! It works on me. <laughs> so, how how close is this or this other ogre to the end of the boat? Am I able to like if if I made a move, grab him by the leg? Uh, it'd be you'd think it'd be a very difficult athletics check. As you hold, you you stretch across the water as a bridge with both hands on the side of the boat. Yeah, well, I was like thinking, like pushing off with my legs and just grabbing a hold of them, like anywhere that I can get a hold of them. You could try. Because I'm just thinking, um, sorry, Mox. <laughs> I just grab a hold of him and my whole weight. I don't. I'm not trying to go onto the boat. I'm just trying to grab a hold of him and just my whole weight falling into the water and bringing him with me. <laughs> oh no! It'd be a grapple check, would it not? Yeah, athletics. With disadvantage as you're prone. Yeah. And then just take the lower of the two. Fourteen. So he would roll his with advantage, though, wouldn't he? Why would he get advantage? Because Re he's prone. But remember, he's got a goblin swinging off his head. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll do. Just a... a straight roll would be. 
what I would say. No. You got 21. She tried to grab him, and you managed to hold on, but you haven't grabbed him. So you're dangling in the water. I'm hanging off the end of the boat, dangling yeah. in the water. <laughs> Capsize it! And just imagine the front of the boat teetering right up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vic, your go. Has the big ogre taken any damage yet? Uh, nope. Hmm. No, it's perfectly fine. Um, okay. Uh, pop up onto the rock, um, and I'll just cast Toll the Dead on him. Yeah. Uh, wisdom, wisdom save. Save for. He got fourteen. Well, oh, fourteen's a DC. So he's all right. Yeah. Balls. Oh my god, man! These are are fucking wise. The same thing happened to me last week. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me. Hey, Hank. Yo. So, also on the last turn, obviously he swang. He missed him. Missed the big ogre. Hit the mast. Yeah. Um, go to try and swing at the big ogre again. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Don't. The dice are not with me today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we swing it and you've missed again. <laughs> How the uh... fuck can you miss something that size? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you hit the side of the boat, <laughs> making a big gouge in the side of the boat. I'm so destroying the boat instead of the ogres. There you go. There, you meant to do that. Yeah, exactly. So, Mox, it's your go. Right, I will pull this necklace as tight as I can and then tie it behind his, behind his head. So that it's, like, strangling him. Right, then. <laughs> It'll be a strength check. Of disadvantage. Why is it? Because he's playing it all over the place. Right. It's saving for... Why is it not doing it? One. No. <laughs> 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 no, you can't. You just can't tie the knot as he's moving too much, spinning around. Ogre. He's gonna try and. Uh, he's gonna hit Hank. That's a miss. Swings wildly above your head. There's a lot of missing going on on this boat, I've got to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's my enormous weight on the back, swaying it side to side. <laughs> Nobody can get any purchase. <laughs> right, so now it's him. He's going to poke Mox. Again. 17 to miss. Dodged out the way. Yeah. Alright, your go. Oh, I'm gonna move my twenty feet over here. Yeah. And I'm gonna shoot the other orc with another fireball. Yeah. That's a hit. The, nice. the only one that's ever done any damage. Oh, <laughs> it's a two. It's because it's he's on land, he's got a bit of stability. Yeah. <laughs> I'm clearly that spot was lucky for nine. What? Oh, you... okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to try and reach up and grab the fucking ogre by the leg again. Yeah. But this time I'm not dangling between a rock and a boat, so... Do I still have a disadvantage, or...? 
I'd say he's still our disadvantage. So it's a fun athletics check again still? Yep. Yeah. Against his athletic. Okay. So he gets. Yeah, you grab hold of him. So now, now you can move him. Is it ten feet? Yeah. Or we'll pull. Yeah. Well, it's half your movement. So basically, you pull your you move half your movement and pull them with you. Is that okay, fifteen then? against eighteen? But I don't know how it works with him being in the water. Because he doesn't have a swim speed. Is he not? Mm. I thought swim speed was the same as your walk speed. Possibly. Never That's done anything in the... half. There you go. Half. Yeah. Half. That sounds about right. Yeah. So it would be half, so halved. Halved. So you can pull him seven feet. It's enough, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I wasn't really planning on pulling them, I was just planning on letting go of the boat and bringing them with me. I wasn't planning on holding on to anything, I was just going to drag a gun off the boat. I'd say it'll be a opposing strength checks. Strength check. He is pretty big and pretty strong. So are you. 22, so... Yeah, you managed to pull him. Yeah, oh, we just both... Shit. It's not bad to me. Both fall in the water, I suppose. Can I make some sort of dexterity check to not <laughs> fall in the water? Yeah. Acrobatics. Acrobatics to try and jump off him. 22. Yeah, you're fine. I do a flip as I jump onto the boat. Do me and the, the rock need to make any saving? Because obviously with the rocks letting go of the boat, it's going to do a huge amount of movement. Uh, yeah, that, that's yeah. true. That's about fucking yeah. like 150 stone getting flung off that there. He's <laughs> just going to flip it. Yeah, it'd be a... Slingshot. Dexterity save, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or, or strength, because you could hang on to something. Depends on what you want to do. Do you want to try and balance yourself or hold on to yourself? I will go to hold on to something. That will be, be athletics, then. Athletics, yeah. Let's, let's oh, there. nice. Oh, not a good roll. <laughs> yeah, you stay on. And the other arc stays on just... And then you just see two tumbling ogres go into the wa water. <laughs> Neither of them could probably swim. <laughs> Depends how deep the water is, though. Well, it's got a boat in it, so it's got to be at least 15 foot deep. Yeah. But they are 10 foot tall. You can still drown in inches of water. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, you could jump. They could jump, yeah, and they're not going to drown. Right, so that's Roxy's go. Back to you, Vix. Two sprawling ogres in the water. Yeah, I'm going to move to the edge of the rock, and I'm going to target this guy with Thorn Whip. Um, yep. I'm going to pull him 10 feet off the boat into the water, hopefully. Okay. Ah. Oh. Eleven. Oh, just misses him. Dodges out the way of the whip. That's me. Hank. So now that Hank's kind of grabbed hold of himself on the boat, he's going to launch himself at the other ogre and attack with a great axe. Yep. Oh, all <laughs> <Roll> damage. <laughs> Making up yeah, he's dead. Cut him in half. Oh, blood and guts everywhere. Oh. He falls in half. 
I love the smell of blood in the morning. <laughs> uh, like the orc still drawing its sword as its torso spinning through the air. <laughs> <laughs> And that's me. Mox, your go. Well, my work here is done. I am going to move back to here and attempt to jump onto that rock. Yeah. That's With a 23. Yeah, you jump across perfectly fine. Perfect. And then I'm going to come down here. Don't need no arc sheet now because they're both dead. Um, ogre is going to attempt to hit the other ogre in the water. Which club? I roll disadvantage because we're in the water. That's a hit. Fifty? No, thirteen bludgeoning damage. <gasps> it's never killed me. <gasps> Rises out of the water and bang. Right across the head. He's get rid of him. Oric! Battle of the Titans yeah. in the water. I'm gonna go back to Old Faithful. Firebolt. Uh, uh, the the ogre in the water. Obviously not rocks. Actually, if I shoot the firebolt, what's the likelihood of me hitting rocks? It's a spell. It's a spell, so, so you can just. Yeah, if it was a ranged attack, there's a chance, but because it's a spell. Well, okay, no worries, then I'll just roll the hit. 24 is a hit. Roll your damage. Six. Six. Yep. And I am my turn. Rocks. Yeah, he's just made me fucking raging, so I'm raging and I'm attacking recklessly and I'm more I'm just wanting to grab a hold of him and keep him under the water. Use him like a fucking flotation device. Drown him. Okay. What would it be? Just a strength check then? Let me grapple first to see if we can get him. And he still got him in the grapple. He didn't try. Right. He didn't try and get out of it, did he? Because he did the grapple to drag him into the water. Did he not? Yeah, yeah but he fell back. Did he not? Yeah, but he yeah. still got hold of him. That was the what the grapple check was for. Okay then. So. So it would be to either, it would be the same check, but it wouldn't be for a grapple. It would be to hold him under the water, wouldn't it? Oppose, um, opposing strength checks. I suppose, yeah. Right, just do a strength check and I get advantage because I'm reckless. But disadvantage because you're in water. All oh, right, well, just take this. So he gets, he's opposing, isn't it? Yeah. So he gets disadvantage as well. Uh, after all, twice. So a nine plus four is thirteen. That yeah, means was a six. So you haven't got him in the water yet. Bastard. Is that your go? That's my go. Mix. Um, I'm gonna try another toll the dead on. Um, yeah. Wisdom save. Wisdom, so. P20 minus 2. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely got him. You got 0. Uh, is he taking damage? Yep, he's taking damage. Ah, perfect. Yep. Yeah. 
So, is that all you want to do? It's closer to the edge, and then, yeah, that's it. Hank, your go. See two ogres flailing about in the water. <laughs> and I try and emulate Moxie and jump on the, on the back of the, the ogre with my axe, swinging down. Yeah. Would that just be uh, would that be a check or just a standard attack? Say it'd be a. Are you attacking from the boat or? Uh, yeah, to jump in off the boat and attacking the ogre. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, just a standard check, just a standard attack will do. That's a hit. Six damage. Yeah. Looking pretty rough. Um, and I kind of land about there, which I think is kind of half on the rock. Yep. Cool. And that'll end. Mox, what would you like to do? Right. Five, ten, fifteen. I'm going to move to there. So I get a clear view of this ogre. And I'm going to draw my bow and attempt to shoot it. With an 11. Uh, that's a hit. Is it a hit? Yeah. I am going to roll the damage first, which is 12. Right. And then I'm going to mark it as my favoured foe and do an extra 1d4. The 15. Oh, it's looking a bit rough. Looking very bloody. Right, so it's going to continue to hit the ogre, the other ogre. So it gets disadvantage in water, but he's doing recklessly, isn't he? Yeah, so just got a normal roll then. It's a normal roll. Oh, well, so it was 11. Go ahead, move with that. He missed. Christ. <laughs> Alright. You all go. I'll go with one more fireball and hopefully that will kill him off. That's a hit. Uh, there you go. Damn it. And, and he's dead. Poor thing. So yeah, he just starts to float. Falls back a bit and then floats. Ah. Can I drag him up onto the beach? <laughs> yeah. Right, I, want, I, want I want to drag him up to here. Please, pretty please. <laughs> um, it looks like it's back on the menu, really, doesn't it? And and I am so fucking pissed off. I want to put both my hands in his mouth and rip the top of his fucking head off. Ah. It's very vulgar rocks. Yeah, you can rip the top of his head off. And then I want to throw it at the goblin, Teddy. You fucking hurt me! Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear anything from the goblin, tent. They're all dead. Uh, can, I, can I start crying a little bit? The boxes! He fucking hurt me, he did! Yeah, but he's dead now. And he's... then can I, like, to try and console myself, can I, like, search the bodies for useless shit? Take the necklace. Yeah, it's a bone necklace. Bits of, bit of string with a load of bones on it. Yeah, I'll take it Some and put it in my bones. bag of things. Some weird... Yeah, I'll take it off him. Off his half head. A bit of wood head. stuck to it. That's what it looks like. A necklace of random shit. Yep. And the tank on him. Look, boxes! Another thing for the bags! Exactly. For my bags of things! So it was worth it, was it not? I'm like kinda sniffling and I'm kinda rubbing my face a wee bit. He wasn't nice to me. 
Well, he got what he deserved, didn't he? I, I just kind of want to sit down for a wee bit, take a breather, and mess with my, my bag of things. Whilst Rox is doing that, can I, I jump back onto the Oh, you have to clean Rox's face. <laughs> So whilst Ro Rox is doing that, can I jump back on the boat and search the other two orcs? Yeah. Who's who's doing that? Uh, Hank. Uh, we have a look what they've got. They have orcs have four javelins each, hide armor. Um, one has a. Great axe. And that's about it. I will take the javelins. Okay, there's four each. So eight. Cool. Right, so while you're all doing that, Agronax is going to come over and say, You having fun there? Are you ready to go yet? Yeah, there's no more murdering to be done here, so uh, let's make a way. That's good. So everyone's loading onto their ships. Which ship are you going to take? Let's get them over there. You gonna go on? We this one. That one's broken. That yeah, was we there. destroyed that one last time, didn't we? This one's still goable. Only just. Well, you're supposed to be taking the one at the end, aren't we? To, yeah, but you can. You've got a boat if you want it. It's up to you. Why not? Can anyone sail a boat? Mm, no. <laughs> then it's more trouble than it's worth, is it not? Yeah, I'd win that one. At least on that one we can just sit and enjoy the ride. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I don't know how to ride a ship. <laughs> Never been on a ship before. Exciting new adventures await. I hope I don't get seasick. <laughs> Heard horrible things about people who get seasick. If we do, we throw overboard, it's fine. How's Rox going to get on it? I mean, does the ship kind of go dip into the water when Rox gets on? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that one's got two ogres on it. That one's right. bottoming out. Right, so. There's two. That kind of balances out. <laughs> so you all get onto the. Right, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, sit on Roxy's shoulder for the journey. So the journey is gonna take up to six days. Yeah, I'm gonna across, stay on his shoulder. <laughs> across <laughs> open water. So it's gonna be. It's quite. It's going to be quite rough. Uh, points. I'll just so... tie tie myself to his neck. <laughs> Have a little blanket tied round as well, so that I'm nice and warm. So you you're basically going from a, a warm Mediterranean uh, place where you where you're from to a northern European, say like. Scandinavia kind of place. So it's cold. Do we know it's going to be cold? You have no idea, but no. I mean, like these guys. Do they? Do they know it's going to be cold? No. Not oh, great. <laughs> but you will have. You won't get. You won't freeze to death or anything. If that's what you're worried about, you, you just notice it gets a lot, lot colder as you're going north. All right. So after. Five or six days, 
up here, you come to what looks like a town. See if to a post world maps. Does the um, time on the ship count as a long rest? Yes, it does. <laughs> Thank goodness. Take your turn Six. order off, James. Yeah, I will. So in Discord, you can see where you're coming into. The place is called Wishamp. Oh. You see, as you're coming up the coast, you're coming from the, the right. As you can see, coming into the bay, there's lots of trees. It's a very wooded place where you can see. And as you come into Wishamp, it looks like it's built on a another civilization's work. Looks like it's been orchified. Can you see the picture on this? Yeah. 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 So it. So as you can see, it's very um, looks like it's been there a while, as there's, there's quite a lot of you coming up this river. Oh, oh no, gone on my ear. Reloading four twenty. So yeah, it's it's kind of like a delta of the looks like a river. My roll twenty is going all weird. All right, so yeah, you can see a bridge in front of you, and what looks like a settlement. When you pull in, it's like here. You see lots of orcs milling about. What would you like to do? Well, currently Mox is asleep on Rock's shoulder, so... <laughs> so as you land, is there anything... As you land, they'll get off and they'll start heading into this, like, tower here. Is the attitude kind of, a lot of the people around kind of generally very welcoming or as welcoming as orcs can be? They, it seems like they're very downtrodden and, you know, like, they feel defeated, right. if you know. A very defeated, defeatist attitude. Being oppressed or the just down on the luck? Say that again, sorry. Like that they're being oppressed, like they're enslaved, or they're just down on the luck? Uh, more down on the luck. Okay. As I jump off the ship, can I walk to the nearest orc? Can I say who's in charge of? There again. You keep breaking up. I'll jump off the boat and I'll go to the nearest orc that I can see and I'll ask them who's in charge here. Right, so the person who's in charge, he will say that it's. Zagrut. Zagrut Iron Fist. He was uh, one of the warlords who was from the first invasion, but he, he set up sh he set up this settlement because it was one of the it was one of the first landing points. So yeah, that's who's in charge, and uh, there's it looks like there's um, you can see. Ogres and giants walking around. 
And there's plenty of boats coming up and down this river. And what's the uh, Warlord Agronac doing? So he was on the boat with us, no? Yes, he, he's going into this tower to see the Warlord, if you would like to come with him. He's asking yeah. to come, come with him. Yeah, we should follow him. Yeah. I'm walking, can I? Not to wake up, Mox. <laughs> <laughs> we got like a hand dangling down as well. Yeah. As I'm walking past all these awesome, uh, some miserable bunch of bastards. <laughs> they do look miserable. Maybe that, if yeah. she cracks a smile, boss, it would be like they were on holidays. <laughs> They're definitely not on holidays. As, as, as Hank's walking along, he's kind of keeping a hand on his axe, just uh, casting wary glances around. He's not, he's not, not trusting these, these the orcs in the settlement. Yeah. Uh, so as you go into the into the tower, it looks like it's there's plenty of trophies and um, on the wall, different animals, and he's and the warlord is sat at the end of a large table. He one of his goblins runs up. Just before you get into the room, and he's like, "What are you doing here? What's going on?" Will our warlord go in first, or he's waiting for us? He, he you're like behind him. Okay. And the warlord says, I, "I'm here to on to conquer this lands." What's what's going on here? And the little goblin goes, oh, you, you better come in and see the, the warlord. Uh, we're having trouble at the moment. Major, major trouble. We, we're, we're getting besieged by by the, the pink ones. The pink humans and womans. Come, come, and he, they welcome you in. Okay, so we we follow the warlord into the room and kind of Hink at least kind of stands a little bit behind, still warily tapping his axe. Yeah. So as you come in, uh, you see there's various goblins running about, and he's sat at the end of the table with a eating his a big like. Deer or something. Is it cooked? Yes, barely. <laughs> I'm assuming it would have some sort of nice smell. Yeah? Well, half cooked deer. Well, smelling cooked meat, Mox will wake up and she'll look about and she'll look that they're not in a boat anymore and she'll look at the water, look at everybody and like, where the fuck are we? I don't know, Moxes. There's so many of these fucking goblins. I don't fucking like it. Shh, 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 shh. Goblins are fine. I'm more interested in that. Now I've got to point at the deer. Yeah. So was our warlord expecting? Like, was he confused? Was he expecting to come here to, to conquer and it's like already set up? Or what was his kind of reaction there? He's, he's, he, they knew that there was a, a settlement, but they don't really know much about what's going on. He's, he's very confused. He's not confused. He's, he's, he expected more. He's disappointed, let's just say. But yeah, he's expecting to conquer the lands. So, the warlord sat at the table beckons you over. Come, come. I'm going to tap, tap, tap Roxy's head and, like, point. Go, go. 
and I kind of walk over to the end of the table and I kind of the lift you up and just put, plop you down on the table to walk across or that. Give me a bit too, would you, Moxie? <laughs> She's going to run across the table, avoiding all the pots and plates and crap that's on the table and she's just gonna grab a handful of meat and run back and i want to kind of like i'm not using in a seat or nothing i'm just wanting to plop down on the ground and i'm kind of hoping that i land on top of a goblin as i throw myself down to sit <laughs> yeah the ox are not really bothered about goblins to be honest so you can sit on them if you want I didn't even even notice. It's just they just disappeared under me. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> and if if no one stopped me grabbing this meat, I'm just gonna run back. I'm gonna sit back on Rock's shoulder. And I'm just gonna feed him little bits of deer meat in between eating it myself. Yeah, the war the warlord looks at you, gives you an eyebrow raise, and continues eating. It's very nice. I'm gonna walk over. To the side of the hall, and just lean up against the wall and take out one of these spell books and just continue reading his spell books, going over his spells. But he's also paying attention to what's, um, he's listening to what's going on. Yep. Hank will, Hank will just take a seat at the table. Put, um, just going to lean back, put his feet up on the table, nice and relaxed. So after a long pause, because New ones, eh? Coming to seek your fortune. Heard there was adventure. Oh, there's adventure, all right. We got battered. Absolutely battered. Been here 50 years, and we haven't moved us an inch. Well, you're not a very good warlord, then, are you? Well, you could say that, but we got battered. They're, they're far more sophisticated. They're far more sophisticated than us. They're all in tin cans, uh, and we managed to take this this town and kept this town for a long time. But we're always under siege. So good luck with your adventures, little goblins. I'm just gonna look at the ogre that I'm sat on and look back at the warlord. But you don't have a rocks. He has a right laugh at that. We have loads of them outside. We still couldn't get out anywhere. Yeah. But they they don't have secrets. Secrets? Aye. Secrets. Schmopses! <laughs> don't make me fucking throw ya. Just gonna have a little giggling and redo me in my dear mate. <laughs> he goes, Currently, we're not under proper siege. They're, they've buggered off somewhere else. They've only got a small encampment outside. But what we are running low on is our food supply. So if you want some adventure, you can help us by getting the. The mushrooms out the cave from the north. Mushrooms, but that's not meat. No, but it's it's good for it's good for gruel. Keeps the army going. As we can't get into, we can only just get into the forest. We can't really get meat at the moment. The mention of mushrooms, Vix now like up at the table with his hands on the edge, and it's just like peering over from the nose up, and eyes slightly white. Just very intently listening, just at the mention of mushrooms. Are you doing this um, secretly, or is it quite obvious? Oh, no, it's really obvious. Um, take a look at the goblin. The, the mention of mushrooms has had to go all wide-eyed. I'm going to whisper shout to in Rox's ear. I think we've got one that likes to get high. Not them kind of mushrooms. It's, we eat the mushrooms. Oh. Or it's going to close his fork and walk over in between the two warlords. And then he's going to say to Zagri, If you want us to go get your mushrooms, that's fine. But you're under siege. You haven't got food. You're under attack. What could you possibly offer us in return? You said you've been here for 50 years and now you're at a loss. 
what can yeah. you possibly give us? Surely we can go out on our own. We can trade metal armors and metal weapons and other trade goods. What would you like? Boats? Um, the Agronag and say, did we come here for honor or do we come here to steal mushrooms for this bomb? <laughs> we, uh, we did come here for honor. But it seems that we need some kind of base. As he, 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 he gives you a sly little wink. We need some kind of base to, for a, to set up off. Right, so if we go get these mushrooms for you, we want a foothold in this place, wherever the fuck we are, so that it is ours and ours alone. How many people are in this hall right now, apart from our party? There's about, say, nine to ten goblins. Him and his two guards. Okay, or or it's going to walk over to Rock and say, instead of taking the mushrooms, I say we just take the settlement. There's only nine people in here. We take down the warlord. We already have a warlord right here to take over straight away. Why take mushrooms when we can take the whole place? He, he's saying this out loud. No, I'm only saying this to Rox and Mox. Oh, okay. Mox is going to tilt her head and sort of look at the warlord and then look at our warlord. You might have a point. Has Hank kind of noticed this conversation going on at all, or...? You can see him... You can see him conversing with each other. Okay. They're like in whispers at the moment. Right, okay. I'll just con at the moment, I'll just kind of continue glaring at the uh, Warlord. Is this that? No, I'm not... Is that we said that we came here for honor, not not mushrooms. Turn around to Zagri just to keep conversation going. Um, what sort of metal armor has he got for us? While the rest of the party think about whether we're going to attack him or not. We have uh, lots of armors. Uh, mainly human, human metal armors and weapons, what we've taken from various battles. You have any, um, prisoners? Oh, we have plenty of slaves. No, that's not what I asked. What kind of prisoners? Well, you... Y these people in tin cans, as you put it. Have you taken any of them prisoner? Yeah, there's loads of slaves. That's what they become. Right. Anybody of importance? Well, I don't know. Probably not. Hmm. Might be wise to know what we're up against. Are you going to do the job or not? Rick turns back around to the um, to Mox and says, will we just take this place or not? Because he hasn't even checked the prisoners. He doesn't know what he's doing. We might as well just take it. We need to see what the others think. Have to ask the Hank, others. Hank. I look over at Hank. I do glaring over at the warlord. And I go, hey, sexy eyes, come here. <laughs> <laughs> And goes, uh, I assume you're talking to me, <laughs> and walks over. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's really awkward because Oric has that charisma of five. <laughs> 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 
like, are you talking to me? Are you not talking to me? I don't know. <laughs> And then obviously we inform Hank of our plan. Oh, Hank. Hank's just kind of like, well, I didn't come here to collect bloody mushrooms. So, yeah, let's take it. Unless you want to take, unless you want to go get the mushrooms, come back and take this place. But I figure right beat around the bush, the state to place now. Like, they yeah, have but the no thing idea is, what they're doing, clearly. If you think about it, we get the mushrooms. We're in a better position to bargain, which would catch him off guard, would it not? Like a surprise. So I like surprises. Bring in the mushrooms and then follow through with an axe. Yeah. Okay, go. Well, why not? Can we go there, Moxes? Can we? Because I like surprises. Yeah. Like clapping. I'm gonna poke the um, like slide down Rock's arm a bit and poke the little goblin that's been staring wide-eyed. You in? Vector turns around and um, opens up his hand and then puts his other hand on top of it and then lifts it and in the middle of his palm you see a little crude sort of magical drawing of a mushroom and then nods vigorously. See, look, he wants the mushrooms. So then, we, I suppose we, we say to Zagary, we'll go get your mushrooms then. A nude sea sense. <laughs> Moxie's just going to have a no, that's sly a, that's a little me. giggle. <laughs> because if you were going to take the place, he says, is you all going there, smirking away all of you, you will be in the same shit hole as I am. In the same shit situation. I mean, we could just go get his mushrooms and then just go somewhere else anyway. Leave him to it. But I do like the surprise. We like surprises. <laughs> Good, because I didn't have a character yeah, sheet for him anyway. <laughs> I mean, this world kind of annoyed me. Uh, yeah, let's go get the mushrooms. Let's go get these mushrooms. Alright, where's these mushrooms, Mr. Big Ass Warlord Guy? Right, so if you... If you look on the map on Discord... It's near Harhem. That's where the cave is. In them woods. Just below Harham. Gets out of a big map. So what's that? This um, I can't even say that one. I want to look at the others. I can't read much of this. What's in this place? And I'm gonna I'm gonna point at the one that says Lightenbury. That's another orc settlement. Oh, are they doing better than you? Probably not. You don't even keep into contact? What kind of warlord are you? <laughs> Not he says... Good, he? he says that in the 50 years that we've been here, we didn't get very far at all. So you haven't moved an inch, and they've moved from here to there? Yeah, but there's been other tribes who got further than us, but we've lost contact with them. Right. Moxes! Yes. How the fuck's this guy a warlord? I don't know. He's because fucking. I'm to... I am a warlord. I and I try to tap him on, pat him on the shoulder, and I say, "I know, I know." I kind of thought. I mean, you're you're the warlords of a shithole, so that's not a good warlord. An important shithole, may I add? Still a shithole. A Polish turd's still a fucking turd. Um, let's just, uh, we'll go get your mushrooms, yeah? A fucking warlord that likes salads. It's not right, Moxes! No. I'm, gonna storm, I'm just going to storm it and a half. It's not <laughs> fucking right! 
I'm just gonna cling on to his <laughs> cling on to his neck as he's storming out. No. <laughs> Take the gonna... Take the map. He's kind of shaking his head in disbelief. I just Can I get him a bit of Before he lost, sorry, since he's lost contact with Lightenberry, has he sent a scouting party to communicate? We still get contact from there, but not very and much. Pink skins for green. Say that again. Has there been any pink skins? In between here, White Jump and Lightenberry. There's, there's lots of them. They're all over the place. Like an infestation, they are. There's patrols. Okay. There's just down the river. Then, is where they come. Oryx just gonna walk out. <laughs> just walk out. <laughs> no buy. Just walk out. Okay. Since I've been he shouts, Good luck, little goblins! And he has a right old laugh. <laughs> kind of sees everybody walking out the door and then turns around and suddenly goes bolt upright with a hand behind his back and gives like a really stiff salute and then bobs off after everybody. Are we, are we all kind of meeting up outside of the Warlord's room to decide <laughs> yeah, the best approach? <laughs> yeah, you should hey. you just see Rox and Mox. Rox is walking around, mumbling incoherently with Mox patting his head. <laughs> Hank kind of catches up with Rox. Like, what do you reckon then? Get these mushrooms for this weak warlord, or see where fortunes lay elsewhere. Well, seeing as these mushrooms are so valuable, why don't we just take them for ourselves? Oh, I like that. That sounds good, Moxes. Then at they least might, they might pay us the shiny things to get them back. Yeah, ransom them. What's Agronak saying? He's been very quiet, considering we're supposed to be working for him. You want his opinion? His yeah, opinion is that we go to go get the mushrooms because the situation. He says that if we take the if we take it now, that's all well and good. But we'll be in the same situation as them. No food. Fuck all. Stuck in this shit all over town. So if we take the mushrooms, bring it back. Then attack them, if that's what you want to do, then we'll, the town will be in a better situation to expand. Because it, as you can see, he, he moves his arm. They are buggered. But, it's, he says, if you can look, uh, if you looked at his map, it's in a very good strategic place. Yeah, because as you can see, it's the main river to the sea, which means that the, this is why all the humans are here sieging the place, because it's the main trade route out of this area. I've got a question, Mr. Agnorak, sir. If we took it from this warlord and gave you control, would you do a better job? Possibly. That's but not very confident. But we'd still need the mushrooms. Well, we're going to go get the mushrooms. It's just whether or not we give them to him or we keep them for ourselves and take this place for ourselves. And this is, Yeah, he could, he'd probably do a better job. But he'd have to break the sieges. Well, that's settled then, isn't it? What about we go get the mushrooms? And then, as, when we come back, we start throwing the mushrooms out through the town and say that Warlord Agronak is in town, and this is what he brings, and this is what he can offer. <laughs> and then we get the entire settlement to join us in storming uh, Zagri. And then we depose Zagri and leave Agronak here, and then this can be like a foothold. 
I like that idea. And I, I yeah, kind of, like I kind of start kind of stroking my chin, and I, and I kind of go, that, "That's an absolutely astounding idea, and it uh, sounds good fun." <laughs> yeah, I kind of tell them look at rock to kind of double take for a second. Like, I just, just kind of look up. You fucking heads, nothing. <laughs> but yeah, we have Agronet come back, like that scene in Aladdin, where Aladdin's going through the town with Genie, and he's just like, "Yeah, I'm the new prince." They're throwing out mushrooms for everybody. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. That's a brilliant idea. Is there anything we need in town before we make a move? Is there anything that you want? Food. Yeah, we need rations and that for the trip, surely. Can't we just <laughs> capture a couple of these orcs? They do good foods. I don't think there'll be many rations in the town that's lacking in food. I mean, yes. we'll be okay for water. If anything, we probably should have gotten what food was left from the warlords before we left. Yeah, he'll give you the, the rations from the boats, if that's what you're worried about. Oh, I thought it. Yeah, so nothing else that's needed, so we should make a move. How are we going to get there? Are we going to go by foot, or are we going to try and take a boat back out and go along the coast? Well, he said there was a, a load of pink skins all all the way down down there, didn't he? Right. So if you see Win Win War on the map, that's where the pink skins are. But we're going ups, aren't we? Yes. But that's their main settlement. Would we, would, would we be okay from attack if we went along the coast to Lightenberry? You sh you'd... It'd be better than going f up through the land. Yeah, because surely we, 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 we've just come in. And we came in more or less okay, no? So surely we can come back out. And yeah. just go to slightly further down. Would be a good plan. Yeah, we should take the boat up to Lightenberry. Yeah, because it, it, it did say that there were... Oh, crap. Um, that there were pink skins going along between here and Lightenberry with the land, no? Yeah. Yeah, we should get on the boat. It's a good plan. Have we got a map? Have we got like a, let's see how we showed us a map? Did we take it or have we got it? No, he's got the map. I did shout behind. Someone grabbed the map. <laughs> well, so I was getting pulled out, but I don't know if anyone actually did. What's that? That's light and berry. Okay. I was just getting ready. It's a small settlement. So is that your plan? You're going up the coast? Yeah. 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 My computer's randomly started to restart, so it might take me a minute to get back onto Royal Funny. It'll take you about half a day to get to Lanbury. Back on the boat it is, then. Yeah. And I can, I can go a wee bit at a faster pace in front so nobody can hear me with mocks. I can I turn around and go, if you tell anyone that I actually sound like this, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie's just going to giggle. You're letting yourself slip. I'm just going to humph and walk away faster. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Hank will just follow after rocks and mocks. Yep. So, you get on a boat, takes you about half a day you're going up the coast, and you get to Landonbury. It is a town, a small, smallish town, with a big, uh, 
looks like it's a damaged old um, coastal fort with uh, what looks like orc buildings attached to it. As you can see in the distance. Mm. Oh, look, sis. One shithole we left, and one shithole we're back to. This whole place is a shit. Why the fuck do we want to conquer here? It's a fucking shithole! <laughs> I said we just leave the pink skins to it. If they want to run around and shit, fucking let them! Yeah, but it's only a shithole because they made it a shithole. Fucking mushrooms and pink skins and shitholes! The orcs made it a shithole. That's what, I, that's what I said. That's what I meant. Uh, fucking useless orcs. And you just got to so glares of rocks as a side eye. <laughs> yeah, I mean you too. <laughs> I've seen how you were flinging that fucking axe about. <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> so, he gets a... Uh, Langenberry. No one picked up the map, did they? No. <laughs> and kind of looks over at everyone and is like, does anyone remember the way that we need to go now? <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. I do. I can well. Because... Because Oric was looking at Oric side left the room, reading his spell book, so he was adding in the notes on where we had to go. Also, he knew it was north of Lightenbury. I mean, I say I don't know which way to go, but I am very good at finding my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a wizard and a, we have a smart wizard and a, and a ranger here. Surely, we between the two of us, we can find our way to my room. Sure, we can get there in one piece. Well, I tell you what, we'll, we'll never be able to smell the mushrooms. Well. This place fucking smells rank! I thought you liked it that way. Yeah, but... no. So, you get there, and you're just gonna go north. Are we going yeah, we into... Are we going into letting... Whatever it is. We don't need anything in there, do we? So we might as well just carry on heading north. Wouldn't it be worth checking to see if they're actually in a better position? You could ask them where this cave is. Yeah. So, you get in. It's a, as I described before, it's a, it's a smallish settlement built on a old, what looks like a castle. There's... Fair few orcs kicking about. They look like they're they're actually guarding the place better. They're most of them are in the guards are in what looks like modge podged put together metal armor. The general feel of them is that they're more more. I want I want to say more confident and more well-organized than it was in Wishamp. Like a main building? Obvious. There is a there is a main obvious building. Oh yeah. Which is in the center of a town. Oh, wait for... Yeah, and um, there's there's plenty of guards kicking about. And just kind of grabs one of the guards. And goes, who's in charge here? His name is Warlord Netag. There he is. And whereabouts is he? He is in the main hut. So he kind of looks at the guards and says, "Just go see the warlord here, then. See if he's any better." Might as well. Charge, yeah, rocks! Let's go! 
if you just breach through everybody, <laughs> heading the way we're going, just, just pushing random orcs out of the way as I go, mock slapping them the way by, move out of the way. <laughs> Hengs can just go for the end. I really need to take a comfort break, so bear with me two seconds. I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this looks a lot more organised. In the main room, there's goblins scurrying about, looking like they're doing odd little jobs. Um, there's one main figure who's in full metal armour. Looks like he's directing other guards about. Uh, as you go in, he goes, Ah, new people. What have we here? Is this the warlock guy? It looks like him, yeah. Nessak. You in charge? I am, little goblin. What do you want? <laughs> I'm taller than you right now. <laughs> Um, we've been sent by some dickhead down in Wichamp to... Oh, that useless twat. Oh, yeah, we agree. <laughs> what does he want? He wants some mushrooms. I'm sure he does. What's that got to do with me, though? Well, we're just passing I through. I, I don't give a shit about him. Well, we'd like to know where the cave is. The cave? Yeah. It's north west into the woods. You got a bit better directions than that. Yeah, he gets out a scrap of hide with crudely drawn map on it. Oh. Yeah, you can have that. Thank you. This will come in. Chucks, chucks it on the table at you. Is that all? And slide down and slowly grab the map and crawl back up. Roll it up. Roll it. Put it in my pocket. I'll look at him. So you don't like the other warlord then? No, I don't like him. I just think he's useless. But he controls one of the major places in this on this coast. So, say hypothetically, that warlord was usurped. What hypo? Hypo what? Imagine. That that guy was removed <laughs> from being a warlord and somebody else was put in his place. Would you care? No. Good. <laughs> then we have an understanding. I would I would do it, but I ain't got the men to do it. But it's a more trouble and it's worth that place. I mean, they're... they're um, Or it lights up and says, don't worry if you haven't got the men to do it. Just know that the men to do it are going to do it. I know that you want to be friends with them. That's a good old laugh at that. <laughs> he's always fucking, he's always, always encamped by Kumis though. All the time. They, they really want that place back. More trouble is, is worth. But, I agree, it needs a change of leadership. Someone new. Then we have an understanding then, Mr. Warlord. Much better than the other Warlord guy. That's not how we do. So... What are you doing in here, then? Well, we were just passing through. You know, I'm kind of studying the map, and I'm not really concentrating on much else. And I kind of look up at the warlord and go, Tell me, chap, can you tell me why the, the these mushrooms are so important? I mean, what's with the fucking vegetables? <laughs> Food. If you, you need to feed an army, they're cheaper than meat. Let's... <laughs> again and notices the change in rocks and rocks diction yeah yeah I just heard the change in the rate speaking I'm just gonna sort of whisper yelling is in rocks ear again you're doing it again I can 
like a grunt. But fucking vegetables? That's not feeding an army. They can live on them. It's not as good as eating deer. Or well, how, how about we go get the mushrooms, we take them back to Mr. Warlord Useless Pants, and then we go kill some of these pink things and bring them back. And then we take over his place. And then everyone's happy. How about that? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> I'm stuck there looking confused. Well, I'm not talking to you, Mr. <laughs> not as useless warlord guy. I'm talking to my group. Yeah, but he's still fucking useless. Yeah, but he's not as useless. Before. I mean, they're, they're both controlling shells, and they still are shells, so he's just as fucking useless. So. Uh... Uh, what do you control? I'm just, gonna, control. I'm just gonna look at him. And I'm gonna tilt my head. And I'm gonna go, everything. You fucking wait, sunshine. <laughs> right, so we have to go get these mushrooms then. This guy's no, useless. So this useless bastard's not telling us anything, Smokes. Well, what do you want to know? Oh, now, now you want to give us information to you. Oh. So what have you been doing for however many years you've been sat here? We've been controlling this this place. The shit and, you mean? And raiding the humans further north. Oh, you've been raiding, have you? Yeah. So you got information what kind of weapons they have, how strong they are. How tasty they are. But yeah, that too, but shh. <laughs> he says that basically they're surrounded. They've been boxed into this area and they can't really get out. There's many human settlements still active. And they're still attacking us over and over again. There's like an endless supply of them. They breed like rabbits. <laughs> And you say you have got shortage of food. And the they have supply down. of it. They have down there. Start of food down there. We're not. We're all right. Is there a point in the surrounding um, siege of humans that the humans are thinnest, where it will be easier for us to cut through them? Or is there a way out of um, Lightenbury that the Warlord knows that we can take to get out that will be easier for us? He says that, that you can go, it'd be just easy to go straight across as, as long as you don't, you avoid Herham because that's a human settlement. Isn't that where this cave of mushrooms is? No, it's below. In the woods, if you look at the map, it's just below there. Right. The cave was controlled by a load of orcs. And uh, we hope it still is. I was going to say, was. Probably. Yeah, it, was a it was controlled by a group of orcs. It's probably why there's a food shortage. So I'd be careful if you're going up into them woods. Let's go kill a bunch of these pink things. I want to see what they look like. I want to know what they taste like, Moxes. Shh, that later. Wait, how far away is Lightenberry from this cave? It is about 28 miles, 20 to 30, 28 to 30 miles away. What was that uh, walking time? That was travel time. So, uh, that's about six hours walk. Six to eight hours walk. Okay, that's fine. Right. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait. 
So it might be worth finding somewhere to rest up and leave in early morning. Yeah. Or we can do a bit of travel, camp up, and then do the rest. What time is it roughly just now? What time is it? Uh, so it took you half a day to get up there, so it's about two or three in the afternoon. Yeah, so we could make a dent in it if we travelled now and then camped halfway-ish and then finish yeah. the rest. Yeah, let's do that. I think yeah. that's okay. Let's walk in before maybe fighting. So, put you on the next map. So, a camp. Oh. oh, is this our camp? Well, it loads, hopefully. Where's... Who's the Hanks there? Why well, it takes a while to load. Alright. Rocks. So it's getting dark. Oh, you need to put me above him. See, you picked a quite picturesque. To the back. There we go. Is that all of you? Yep. Yep, so. Yeah, it's getting dark. Are you going to set up watches? Well, yeah. yeah. It'd be wise. The humans about. <laughs> Hank will volunteer to take first watch. Please, I can watch them. I'll take last. So, can the first person doing a watch make a perception check? Uh, yep. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> ah, perfect. So, you hear moving about. It's about. You feel that there's something watching you, but you can't see anything in the darkness. Uh, if it, I'll kind of hold on to one of the javelins that I've picked up, ready to throw if need be, and can continue kind of scanning around. Yeah, nothing comes into view, but you keep on hearing rustling around the camp. But nothing comes to us hack here. Just hear it. Every, every like, so many uh, 10 15 minutes you hear rustling a crack of the twigs and that's it everything else goes unless you want to do something um can, can i kind of tell which direction the, the rustling is coming from was it all around it's more in these directions mm. Okay. If if I kind of walk a, a little bit out towards these ones, so is there anything that, that further that I can see? Or make a perception test check. Uh... No, you can't see them. Okay. Just here every so often. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll just continue sitting by the um, tents just with, with my hand on a weapon. Yep. So your watch ends. Next one. Who's upon the second watch? I'm upon the second watch. Alright. So perception check on the second watch. Uh, 
does Hank mention to Oric as well about the rustling that he's heard? He can do it if you want. Yeah. So uh, as I'm kind of walking back to my ten, I'm uh, just going to grab Oric by the shoulders. Like, There's some rustling about. Keep your eyes open. Well, okay, I will. And as uh, Hank tells me that, Oric has his fingers set up like a like a gun, ready to shoot a firebolt. But he's about to roll his perception check. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You, you hear what sounds like dripping noises. And they're coming from these places, the same places. And that's, if you want to just, what do you want to do? Oh. Um, if I move, if I'm going to move here, sorry, and yep. can I see anything from where the gripping noise was here? Make a perception check. Come on. Oh. No, you oh. Just, just hear the wind and the drips. <laughs> I couldn't see, like, I, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see, like, anything dripping onto the floor, just nothing. You, you can go closer, but at the moment you just hear the dripping. You know what? I'm going to move ten feet back, and I am going to cast Unseen Servant, and I'm going to send it into the bush. <laughs> yeah. What do you want it to do? Sacrifice. I want it to walk into the bush and just walk out, spreading its arms out, or maybe pulling the bush away if it's blocking my sight. Okay, so it's, it goes in, nothing attacks it, it pulls the bush away, and you see something hanging from the tree. Do I need to get closer to get a better visual? Or can I see what it is? You, need, you probably need to get closer. Can I get the servant to poke it first to see if it moves? It wings. It doesn't move, it swings. It swings? It's, quite, it's, it's, it's a large object. It pokes it and it... Do you know like when, if you poke a pendulum and it swings and it comes back? Okay. Um, I'm going to wait the rest of the party just in case. Yep. This will be on the safe side. So I go and wake everybody up, and I inform them of what my unseen servant has shown me in the north of the camp. Yeah, he comes over and wakes you all up. What do you want to do? Uh, walk, walk over the order, lad. Did you check what it was? Uh, I'm a wizard. I don't go directly into things, not just yet. Um, I, I'll investigate the best I can with my unse with my my invisible friend here, Clarence. You, you can't see Clarence. He's sort of like an angel. Uh, but anyway, sorry, never mind. You don't need to know his name. Uh, so I checked the book, and there was a dripping sound, and something swung out. And because you're big and strong, rocks, I thought that'd be a perfect thing for you to check. Yeah, while well, I was in the middle of saying that, I kind of cut him off and went, oh, for fuck's sake, and I just walk up to it. Can I see what it is as he's walking to it? Because obviously I um, tend to be on his shoulders, or strapped to his shoulders while I sleep. Yes. I'll, I'll walk with Brock, but I'll be behind him. Can I make a perception check to see what it is? Yeah. 
The closer you get, the easier it is. What did you get? 11. 11. What direction was it? Are you this going one. Yeah. Right, so as you get there, you find, as you're walking in, you find five corpses hanging by their feet from the trees above you. All skin is removed from their bodies. Ugh. There's a few items still on the corpses, if you're looking at them. Yeah. And in each of them, it looks like a brand... They're orc corpses. I forgot to say, they're orc corpses. And each one has a branded badge with a star and a sword in it. Hanging from the trees like Predator. How high up are they? 20, 30 foot. Um, well, yeah, about 20 foot, yeah. Can I get onto a branch from Roxy's shoulders? Yeah. Alright, so... Easy enough. I'm going to tie myself from Roxy. I'm going to try and climb this tree to go take a better look at this badge. Yeah. Very, very nice rock. Looks like it's been branded into their chest. Right. It's like a, a star with a sword going straight through the middle of it. Can I do a scribble, like on a piece of paper or parchment or whatever? Yeah. Just to try and copy it. There's no way to tell how long the bodies have been hanging here. They have been put up oh, tonight. Long? Night. Within the last watch. Alright. I'm going to make my way down and I want to look for any sort of tracks or anything like that. Like any sign of disturbed bushes or tracks to see if we know which direction they came from. Survival check then. 13. Yeah, you've got a rough idea towards where you're heading. I mean, we could follow them. Well, from the track, um, the type of um, the type of track is it? Is it like a, a boot print? Is it like a paw print? Definitely boot prints. Okay. These could be the pink things. Do you think this was set up as a warning? What, trying to warn us? Bull Roxy boy. Yeah, they may be trying to scare us off. <laughs> and they think this would scare us off? I was going to say it's a fucking shit warning. Yeah. They're, they're looking awfully tasty to you, Rox, though. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> They've just hanged me meat up to cure. Yeah. Do you want me to go cut it down? Yes, please. Alright, I'm going to go back up the tree then. Good. Standing there, I'm rubbing my hands and licking my lips. Get ready to catch it. If you go to any of these places, these ones, they're exactly the same as hanging corpses up. Yeah, we're just... The other two. We're cutting this one down for rocks. Yeah. Yeah. H Hank will make his way over to these ones, just kind of have a bit of a nose and see Yeah, they're all, they're all very similar. Orcs hung up with a star on their chests, the sword going through it. Now, now what I don't get is they want us to get vegetables when we've spent one night here camping and we've got lunch. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Didn't even have to fucking try. They fucking delivered it. <laughs> if I move over here to the other bush, to where the other hanging pile of corpses are. Can I tell if, like, anybody's still watching us? You can make a perception check. There you go. Oh. The rows are not with us. <laughs> no, they're not. You think that they're... they're they've 
gone. I've gone. Can I check for any tracks that are around mine, see if they kind of match up with the ones which Mox found yeah. by hers? A survival check. You see the boot prints, but they're all mingled in with the blood. Not, yeah, the blood and the mud. Okay. I mean, you, you, you definitely see them, but you don't know what direction they went. Yeah. I mean, we've got an option here. We can just carry on to the cave, or we can try and follow these tracks and give them a taste of their own medicine. We know that we're here. If we go to the cave, and the orcs aren't inside the cave, somebody's taken over the cave, then we're going to be being attacked from the front and behind. At least if we go to who's it come to our camp tonight, we reduce the risk of us getting stuck in the cave with enemies at the front and back. Yeah, but then you think about it. They've seen who we are. They've strung up these corpses knowing that this guy here and point at the shouting ogre is going to eat them anyway so aren't they non-hostile if they're feeding us but this is still middle of the night isn't it <laughs> it's still the middle of the night it's like two or three in the morning they're feeding us. they could be warning us to, to not go any further well, why don't we go further and tell them to fuck off, then? I like that idea more. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying we can do that, but before we go into the cave, let's follow the the, the footprint. Are they... if we go straight to the cave... Are the footprints wait, leading on, towards I'm... the direction of the cave, or are they going off on a different direction? Make a insight check. Anyone wants to do it? Uh, oh. I mean, since we were both talking about it, can I make an insight check as well? Yeah. Anyone who wants to make an insight check. Okay, I'm going to do one as well with Gaidens. 21. You definitely know that go, uh, the footprints go to the cave. Okay, cool. Let's just go to the fucking cave then. We don't have to worry about um, people coming behind us. Let's go back to sleep and then go to the cave. Yeah, because I just burnt myself a lot. <laughs> Whatever that is. Hank, Hank kind of walks back to the game and like, what about a double watch instead of a single? Well, me and Rox can do a, a watch. We can keep an eye. Better than they two bastards anyway. <laughs> you out. I mean, who sends a fucking ghost in to do it when they can do it? Go on then. Make your insight checks then, not insight, perception checks. Perception. I'm gonna, Doing your watch. I'm going to stand by this water. This looks very pretty. 16. Yeah, nothing happens. Very quiet. I'm just going to play with the water in the pond. It's very clean water here. Look, rocks, it's clean. You can see through it. I am an ugly bastard without me ears, isn't I, Mox? We were ugly before, right? I think it's um, made you a bit less ugly, to be honest. You think so? Hey, why are you putting on the voice in front of me? They can't hear you. Yes, you're maybe right, my dear. It's been a long, long day. It has been a long day. Yes, yeah, so and nothing happens, and you wake up bright and early in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sun comes up. So what's the plan? Rough to cave. So as you're travelling through the forest, you come across rotten remains of a cat. Rotten. It's been in there a while. Of a calf. Cat. Cat. There's Alongside 
rusted armor and bones, tattered, a tattered, un unreadable banner hangs at the front of it, and the the line of bodies and carts and bones stretch almost a mile long through the forest. Looks like it's a, it was a caravan heading towards where you are, where the towns where you were, and they're all orc corpses. And on the banner, there's another, there's a star with a sword for it. I'm going to point at the banner, and I'm going to turn to Rocked. And there's another thing for your back there. It looks like it's been put in, do you know, like to show that they've defeated them, if you know what I mean. It's for his bag of things. Yeah, it's for his bag of things, but that's what it looks like. It's been put placed there purposely. Yeah, I go over and I pick it off and I'm looking at it and I go, it's a good shiny thing, that in the boxes. Yeah, it's it unreadable. <laughs> unreadable. It's inhuman, that's why. <laughs> you haven't got a clue what it says. Would um, Hank recognise that that's the same symbol that's been was on the corpses from last night? Yes. I've got it drawn. Can I compare it? Yeah. Yours looks like a child's drawn it, though. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, can I roll a history check to see if I recognise it? E can try. Nineteen. Uh, no, you don't really recognise it. You, but you can, you can definitely. Uh, it's, it's human, and it's. You think by some kind of holy symbol. Didn't read enough out of the academy. Sorry, guys. I mean, why would your academy know about these people? Um, my academy is, a, is an academy of mages. Yeah. So we, we're trained in the in the arcane, especially like especially for war. So any time that we, we 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 battle, especially humans, we want to know our enemy. That's that's part of why, you know, hobgoblins survive better than orcs. So you studied shiny badges. You studied shiny badges, badges. Shiny sigils, dusty books. Wait a minute. So, so you like shiny things too? Yeah, I've got, I've got a shiny crystal ball. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Can I have it? I take up my crystal ball that I, I use sometimes in my arcane art, and I just pop it to rocks. Yeah, you can have it. I can get another one sometime. <laughs> See, that's as easy as that box is more shiny <laughs> things. <laughs> more shiny things for your bag. Whilst they're doing that, um, Hank's kind of looking around at the um, the rotten cars. Like, is there anything salvageable around? Not particularly. It's, it looks like it's been looted. Anything of value has been taken. Okay. So is there like a load of corpses about, did you say? Yeah. There's lots of orc corpses everywhere. Mm. They're starting to rot. They look like they've been there quite a while. Well, so Vex is um, kind of sitting down beside one of the corpses and like stroking whatever's left of its hair and then just like wrenching a tooth out of its mouth and sticking it sticking it in a pocket for later. Yeah. And just pats it on the head again, and makes his way back. So after a while turn up to the mine and you see two humans what you think are humans stood what well, looks like outside garden. Put you over here. Is it all of you? Is anyone missing? No, that's it. Yeah. So that's 
one have they noticed us yet not yet well they have now can i just walk right out into the middle of there i'm gonna I jump gonna... off before he I'm moves like... I've just kind of reasonably walked out and I'm kind of pointing at them and I'm looking back and I'm going like, Boxes, are these, these pink things we're hearing about? And then they shout back at you, but you have no idea what they're saying. A lot of gibberish at you. I just can't keep walking over to them. Uh, they're going to attack you. Because you're some kind of monster to them. Absolute monster. Clear. Because like, I imagine that kind of, I'm walking out and I'm going like that. Is this these pink things? And then I want moxes and I turn around and you're not there. You're behind them going, moxes? Where the <laughs> fuck are you going? <laughs> Just standing there alone. Did roll initiative. But it's came up with a thing above it. It's not pulled through. Minus there has it come up again. Uh, what's it done? Is it not come through? Yeah, it's come up with it. Yeah. You want to send the result of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. Yeah, same here. So, I'm that one. What happens if you have you select your token and try again? Let's see what it does. That one go on? Yeah, that one's gone on. Yeah, I must have just not been selected. Yeah, so they got. Oh yeah. Hank got an eleven. Yeah, and Auric got seven. Yeah. Mark. Right, my go is it? Yes. Hmm. Right. I am going to Is does one look more um well armed than the other? Not particularly. What weapons are they holding? What they'd have on the pictures? They have short bows and a scimitar. Right. Dressed in leather armor. Which one are they holding, though? Both got the bows out. Okay. I'm going to aim at that one there. And I'm going to attempt to shoot it with my bow. For a 14. That's the hit. That's the damage. Uh, eight. Eight damage, yeah. And I am going to mark it as my favoured foe. So it's an extra free damage. Well, this one. The bottom one, yeah. That one is dead. Oh, what? I'm 
third. Hank, your go. So if I run forward 30 feet, 20, 25, 30, and then can I throw, or oh, can I, I need to equip one of my javelins. Um, and that, that'll be my action, my net equipping the javelin. No, it's a bonus no. action. Right. You can throw your javelin, yeah. Yeah, can I throw my javelin? Yeah. Eleven. That is a miss. Cool. So he just misses and hits the wall behind him. Okay, and that'll end. Rocks. Yeah, I'm just going to walk up and smash him in the head with my big, massive great club. It's probably bigger than he is. Smash him in the head. I'm not with that, I'm not. <laughs> that's a miss. And that's my move. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna 15 feet to the right there, and I'm gonna point at the humanoid figure. Look at my fingers like Roy Bastang from a uh, former alchemist and shoot a fireball. Yep, 17's a hit. Um, that's a five. Five damage. It's not quite dead. It's still it's alive. Though, surely. Hmm? But he's supposed to be though, yeah? Like he's... He put under the collar. That again? He's put under the collar though, yeah? He's, he's <laughs> toasty. Yeah, he's toasty, yeah. Is that it? Is that your goal? Yeah, I have my turn. Alright, bandit. He's gonna attack for the ogre. 13. Nope. That's a miss. So that's his go. Vic's go. Move to here, and I'm going to try and where I find. Yeah, I'm going to try and saw him with him. That'll do. That's definitely a hit. Do your damage. He's not dead. Are you going to yeah, drag him? Yeah, he does get pulled ten feet towards me. Watch it, there you go. Is that the end of your go? Yep. Mox is getting dragged past everyone. He's in some kind of like a whip. Oh, I'm gonna shoot my bow at it. As he's getting dragged. Oh. That's definitely hit. If he wasn't there before, he is now. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. She's done that special one where you have like multiple arrows and then you just fire them all. <laughs> that one. Dead. Right, so yeah. The cave entrance. Got two dead corpses. Uh, you see a minecart at the front. Well, it looks like it's filled with pretty uh, rocks. Are we out of turn no, order now? Yeah. Right. Someone else had the same idea. I want to search this one. What yeah. they have on them is a scimitar, a short bow, 
20 arrows, the leather armor, and a, on the armor there's the same symbol. I'm going to steal some of the arrows to, to stop back up what I've used. Can I take the scimitar? Yeah. Nice. Can I pick up my thrown javelin? Yeah. Cool. Um, I'll oh. nab the extra leather armor, I suppose. Maybe. Iron up the shiny things. What are they? They look like rock with a um, like a uh, dullish, but it's got a little tint to it in within the rock. I'm going to pick up one that sort of fits in my hand, if there's a small enough one. Here's the yep. one. I'm going to throw it to rocks. Another shiny thing, look. Can I bonk off my head and I can I grab it, scramble and get to grab it? Yeah. Oh. It's got pretty covers. <laughs> Say again. I've done an investigation check. Yeah. Of the rock. Have you, have you got any alchemy gills or anything like that? You got alchemy kit. Because if you have, you got an advantage on it. No alchemy, no. Oh, doesn't matter. Does the rock for me? Is there anything in these crates? At ten. You know it's iron ore. In the crates is just more, uh, well, in the crates there's like loads of mushrooms. Oh. And that's what we came for. Don't even need to go in, look. Did we ever discover, you know, how much mushrooms we're, we're going to take and how we're going to transport it back to um, the boat? <laughs> I'm going really for like a whole settlement. <laughs> um, I don't think any of us have like a holding, do we? No. No. I think somebody oh, does. Oh. Did somebody not take one? Well, it may be one of the guys that's not here. Yeah, it was uh, a parakesh. Hmm. Rock, how, how big is your bag of things? They're not going in my bag of things. They're not fucking shiny. <laughs> fucking vegetable. I mean, what, what about this car? It's got wheels. Surely there'd be more than one. Can't we just push them? Well, this is going on. Vic is like... <laughs> well, this is going on. Vic's like half inside one of the barrel, one of the crates with his legs dangling out, just gathering up loads of mushrooms. <laughs> Plonks them down in front, and, and I'm going to... I'm going to kind of stare at one of them slightly, and then I'm going to take a few minutes to cast Detect Poison and Disease. Just in case. Yeah. No, they're not poisoned. While he was doing that, I just picked one up and tasted it. <laughs> yeah, it tastes quite nice. Sweet. Oh, it rocks. It's sweet. It's horrible. Well, well, jam, a, jam a bunch of them in my bag and then eat a couple, keep a couple in my hand and start eating them. Whilst these guys are all kind of tasting the mushrooms, Hank kind of moves forward a little bit, a little bit further into the cave. He's like, these guys have the same symbol as what we saw before. Does anyone want to investigate further on these? Hank, will you make a perception test? Yeah. Oh my god. Are you oblivious? What about in these crates over here? What's in these ones? Make a perception test. Oh, I'm good at perception. Not with a nat <laughs> one, I'm not. <laughs> You're oblivious as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in what's in these crates. More mushrooms. Mushrooms! Lots and lots of mushrooms. So in between... Ah! Ah! Um... Right. Did any of them hit you, Mox? No. Okay. There's going to be three arrows fly past you. Well, as soon as the arrows start flying, I'm running back. 
They stick in the boxes. And I'm going to draw my longbow. And I'm just going to, which is incidentally larger than myself. And then just sort of ready. In case any more of them human things come out. Yeah, at the sight of the arrows as well, Hank kind of hefts one of the javelins ready. How far can you see in darkness? 60 feet. I can see 60 feet. Right. Might be able to see one of them. You see a glimpse of one of the a, a human in the back. Yeah, of his bow. He's right at the edge of sixty feet. Yeah, you only just notice him, bow. Uh, yeah, he's he's just you can just see him. Oh, so I can see that guy. Yes. Yeah. So wouldn't that trigger off my ready action? Did you say you're ready in? Yeah. Well, yeah. If he's just come out the fucking darkness. Twenty six. That's a hit. Much better shot than you. <laughs> so, can does anyone else do anything? A surprise round. How can I move it? A surprise round. Your movement. Yeah, because I've just seen Mox getting shot at and I'm no fucking happy about it, so I've just been charging in. <laughs> Club out. That would be a bit there. Fuck's sake. Oof. So is that everyone? Yep. Mm. I'm gonna need to roll that again. Oh, that was shit. <laughs> You got a sixteen if you want to change it, James. You got the sixteen. Fake. Sixteen. Standing. All right. All right. This is. Vic and Mock because then I'll be 60 feet away yep now you can see him I'm just going to see the firebolt at him that's why they call me the firebolt machine and <laughs> hopefully hit 12 is a hit oh really yeah they've only got oh. leather armor on Okay, boys, looks like barbecue's back on the menu. <laughs> and that's five. And I end my turn. He drops down a smouldering corpse. A scream. Vic. It depends on his decks. What's your decks, Vic? Uh, 14. Man's higher. Oh, I can move you up there. There we yeah. go. So, I am going to run and jump onto Roxy's back or onto his shoulders. You put me on front. 
and I'm assuming that's my action to climb up onto him. There yeah. Go. Right, you're 60 feet. 5, 10, 15. Yes, you can reveal them areas. Yep. And if I can tie myself back to his neck. Yeah. Oh my god. You see three guys down there. Okay. But that's my go. He's a bit cheeky asking for an attack. And I'm just going to shout back at the others. There's more down there! Vic. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Thirty. Um. Bonus action. Cast Sheldula. Sheldula. That was the one. Shalom and Ding Dong. Um. I'm just dodge my action. Yep. That's me. Right, so these two. Wait a minute. What's Hank's decks? Uh, it is fourteen. So he would actually go before them. So change his number to twelve point four or something. There you go. He's above them now, anyway. There you go. Cool. That's good. Now all the bandits are together. So Hank will kind of just run forward thirty feet. I'm just going to be behind the crates. Um. And at the moment, there's nothing else I can do, so I will end it. Yep. All right. Uh... So, bandits. These two on are going to shoot at Hank. Twenty-three and a seven. And then one on uh rocks. They're getting lots of crits. I know they're awesome, aren't they? So yeah. That's, um, it's against the armor class, isn't it? As to whether they yeah, hit or not. Yeah. So the 23 will hit, but the 7 won't. Yeah, so that's 5 damage from the 23. And on rocks is 6 damage. And that is their go. Rocks. Yeah, I'm just going to keep charging down. Go well, let's go. Charge. That'll be my fool. Yes, I'm at there. Right, so when you're going past, make a perception text, test. Am I making one as well, or...? can if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said you were good at perception. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's my expertise. I've got plus seven to it. <laughs> nope, you don't have a clue. You're just charging the head. <laughs> yeah, too busy trying to keep on stood up on his shoulder. I'm tied on, so at least I can't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Is that your goal? That's as much as I can do. So, yep. Yeah. Alright, your goal. The fireball machine. I will move 30 feet forward next to Hank, just behind his crate. 
They shoot another fly ball at the humanoid figure directly in front. This one here? Of, yeah. Yeah. Of rock. Aww. Aww. Roll D6. Oh, let me down. It's a spell though. Well, I think it's a still a fumble though, isn't it? No, I think that's only fireball, no? Yeah, that's fire. That's that's a, a spell. Oh, wait, no. So I don't. No. Uh, range spell attack against target. A, a ranged, an actual, like a bow would. But a fireball no, yeah, just, is you're targeting. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's a target. It just it misses its target. Right. As in it, yeah, it just fizzles out. Yeah, fireball backlash, doesn't it? Fireball doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is that your go? That's me done. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Box. All right. I'm gonna go for the one at the back, and she's gonna draw a narrow and miss. Is that a miss? Uh, 11. 11's a hit. Is it? Oh, no, 12. No, 12. Oh, I'm 12. Oh, you missed. Missed. Oh, it was a hit. Fix. He's just going to stick a finger up at her. You can understand that, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so, can you make me a perception test? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you notice the ambush. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh. Hiding behind the corners, waiting for you. So it's your go. Okay, um, I'm just going <laughs> to jump up and down, going woo woo and pointing in different directions. <laughs> um, ho hopefully that'll get everybody else's attention. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to. I'm going to thorn whip on this guy. Yep. Ooh. Wait, three's a hit. He's a hit. Five. Five. Ten feet toward. Ten feet towards me. Five, ten. Yep. Um, I'm worried they should leave, so that's fine. Um, yep, all good. Hank, you see the goblin shouting? Ah, they're all over there. Yeah, Hank, Hank sees where Vic's shouting, and he's gonna charge towards these guys. Uh, with his. Um, great axe. He's gonna move to there and make an attack. Yep. That's a hit. Do your damage. A good hit. It's not quite killed him. No, and with that, I'll end. So. So move there, move there. Right, so two on Hank. So thirteen and twenty one. So the twenty one will hit two damage. So one, two, three, four on rock. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. So an eight to twenty-one, an eighteen, and a ten. Twenty-one and eighteen, huh? Uh, nine, nine damage. Yeah, they're trying to hit you with their swords. And then one on Vic. 
Yeah, 18. Man. 4 damage. That's their go. Rock, your go. Ready when you reach? Yep. And I need to smash him over the head with my mighty club. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> you definitely hurt him. Well, he's not quite dead, though. Break all his ribs. He falls, stumbles back. Whining. And he's whining in some unknown language to you. Auric, your go. I'm just going to shoot a fireball at the human I'd take her in front of it. Yep. This one. Yeah. That's a hit. He is dead. I'm going to move forward to where he, to where I just killed him. Yeah. Well, that's not that. Okay. Like, Against the wall. Yeah. That's fine. Right. For a little bit of a little box, they're all fashioned out of spots. Right, um, I'm going to use the momentum of him hitting the guy and get myself in position and shoot my bow at the same guy. The hit, who shoot it? Not been hit yet. He falls down dead. I was stuck in his chest. Uh, and on the floor, blood everywhere. Yeah. Is that your go? Vic? Okay, I need a, a ruling from you, DM. How would you how, how do you rule this? So magic missile. Um, do you rule it as roll of damage once and that's what they all do, or will roll damage for each individual missile? Roll them for each individual missile. Okay. I think um, yeah. Yeah, I think it is for each individual missile actually. Yeah, because it's kinda debated, but yeah, that's fine. Um, so I'll move to here, and I will send one at that guy, one at that guy, yeah, and one at that guy there. So the two bottom ones and the one underneath, I think. Right, okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, three. So, yeah, so that is first one. Ooh. So two on the one underneath Hank, the one on the left at the bottom gets three, and the one at the right on the bottom gets two as well. Yeah. Is that all? Um. Yep. Hank. Cool. So I'm going to continue my attack on the guy on the far left. Yeah. With my great axe. That's definitely a hit. And you yeah. kill him. 
smash him against the wall with your right axe. He falls down, slides down the wall, blood all over the place. No, and I just turn to the guy that's remaining and just scream at him. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, you free on rocks. One, two, three. You really are good, Picrets. They are pretty good, aren't they? So, 23, 12, and 18. The damage on one HP a game? And then, one on Hank. To miss. So that's their go. Damn it, dead. Three dead. Rocks, your go. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not using the club anymore. I'm gonna basically use my fists and grab either side of his head and fucking try and crush his head. And because of my size, I actually get it to roll as a 1d10. Yep. Yeah. Make you attack. Right. So, hold on where I'm at. That's a hit. And it will be a 1d10 for the damage. And it's plus 2 as well because I'm raged. I forgot to say for the last one, but I get an extra 2 damage because I'm raged. So, yeah, you crush his head. Pop. When Rox yeah. makes wine, he doesn't do it with his feet, he does it with his hands. Yeah. Basically, I've just popped it and his teeth have went in all different directions and I've burst out laughing even though I'm almost dead. There you go. That is my goal. Alright. Just see his paw, well, it's not paw thing, his things have crushed his head. There's three left. And they're looking... A bit worried at this. If I was to move down next to rocks and mocks, could I get the two in front of them in a cone? Uh, if it stood, is it a line? For burning hands. If you stood somewhere uh, like here, then if it was there. You'd be able to get that as your first one. Then it'd be that one, that one. Yeah, okay. So you're yeah. going like so that, get them. and then the first one would go off in that direction and, and that way. So yeah, you can get them both, but it'd have to originate from next to me. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Just got to double check. Then I will do Burning Hands, which is a dexterity save. So they have to be a 13. First one. Second one. No, they both failed. Burn them alive. 3D6. Ah, oh, it's 11. Yep, that one's dead. First one's dead. Second one's dead. And it's one of my fun. Mox. You just watched them just get toasted. Yeah. She's um more sinister eyes browns. Sinisterly giggling at the um guy that got his head crushed. Um she's gonna turn around, sit on Rox's shoulder, and pull an arrow to shoot at that guy. Yeah. Uh, for 11 damage. Dead. Shot straight in the back. So, yeah, they're all dead. Most of them are on fire. I just sat down, but just plump, plump myself down, run about all the teeth. Start crying. 
Well, why did he keep fucking hurting me? Yes. <laughs> right, so yeah, there's a lot of corpses. It's a very damp and dark cave. Perfect for growing mushrooms. There's what looks like a mine uh, cart and a mine track. What they call tracks. Yeah. Yeah. There's a mine track going in either direction. I'll reveal some more of a hidden area. That, that, that's putting it on. No. There's an old, old metal rusted door in front of you. With strange writing on. What you can see. Right. Seeing as Mox is sat on Rock's shoulder the wrong way around, she's going to undo her um, rope and she's going to fall backwards into a, a roly poly down his body until she reaches the floor and more than likely land on her head. <laughs> yeah. Roll off then. Yeah. Um, you can see some more boxes in front of you. Boxes, uh, eh? Hank can see a lot of mushrooms growing. Yeah. What's Hank in these kind of boxes? Shows. Hank kind of shouts over that. I think these are the mushrooms we were after as well. Well, all this is going oh, on, Vex. <laughs> well, all this is going on, Vex, seeing the burn, the, the, bur the burning hands and the corpses. Um, and I let out a scream, and he's currently just wailing on the skull of this dead guy, just incessantly bashing it with his bone club. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. They're still on fire. Walk over to the big door and see yeah. if he can, if he knows the writing on the door. Um, I know giant, goblin, orc, and common. No, but you can make a history check or an investigation check. I'll go with the history check because that one is bigger. Yes. You don't know what it says, but you know that it, from your maze college that it looks like dwarven. But it's a, a very rusting. It looks like the door hasn't been opened in a very, very long time. We only played on that one extra semester or the learned dwarven. If you, if you think about it, dwarven would be like very, very ancient text to you. You know, like not many people would ever know it from your races. Yeah. Looks like there's a there's a door look locked. Is it like a does the door raise open? Does it open like two double doors or how does the door actually lock? It looks like it's a solid piece. If you make an investigation check, but if you look if you glance at it, glance at it, it looks like one solid piece. And it still looks like one solid piece to you. Yeah, it does not all. What's in these boxes? Better not be goddamn mushrooms. They are full of um, pretty rocks. Oh, at least it's not mushrooms. Yeah, rocks. More pretty, um, shiny things. You might find a better one for your bag. <laughs> can I stand back up, Sobin, and I just come over then? Can I mop it? And rummage through the crates to find a better one. I find one that's a little bit more shiny than the others. Look, look, shiny. Tell me what it looks like. Looks like that. That's what it looks like. Yeah, but I found a, a shinier one than the others. Take it off you and I'm stuff like that. <laughs> Thanks, Moxes. <laughs> it's okay, Rox. We'll get through this. 
They're mm. mean pink things. Hey, look. Them ones are barbecued. They're cooked. Yeah. They look edible now to you. Yeah, I'll go over and try a wee bit. Oh, yeah. Take it. Can I take a look at one of these corpses? Do, do, do they have any... Do they resemble a race that we know? They are human. Oh, okay, they are human. They're definitely human. Can I take a look at this big door, then? Very pale compared to... If you've ever seen a human, you've seen them more dark-skinned humans from where you're from. You know, like Italian, Greek kind people. You've seen that kind yeah, of... Yeah, sort of pink sallow, color. like olive -y. Yeah, yeah, but these are these are white, white, blonde hair, white, like, like subterranean. No, more like Scandinavian. Very yeah, pale. Like they, they, they don't look like they live on the ground. No, no. Hmm. Okay, I get back over to the door. Thanks. Do you all look at the door? Yes. Yeah, Hank's wondering if he can try and break the lock through strength. There's no lock, there's no keyhole, no. there's nothing like that. It's, it looks like a... The only reason he knew it was a door was because he got so high on his history check. Right. Can I have a proper look at it to see if I can see any sort of crack in it or a way to open it? You can have a go. It looks like a solid piece of metal to you. What do you want me to roll? Investigation. Ten. No, it just looks... All you know is it's a solid piece of metal. Can't go that way. Another hi Can I roll another history check to see if I remember the mechanism behind the door? You can have a go. Yeah, you think it might need some kind of uh, puzzle or password to get through it. Okay. What, 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 what? Oh, right, no, we wouldn't even be able to read it. Um. Did we search all the corpses? Start again. Did we search all of the bodies? I don't know if you looked at any of the bodies. Counted the teeth. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay. Can I, can I go rubbing through the bodies? Yeah. They've just got their short bow, scimitar, leather armor on, the symbol on, some rations. A bit of strange round metal objects. Can I take the strange round metal object, please? Yeah. Um, can I investigate the object? The object? They've got little yeah. pictures on them. Little faces and things on them. Do I recognise the pictures in relation to the door, maybe? No, they don't. They, they, uh, to you and me, they're just coins. They're like silver coins. Okay. Let them watch while I get these. Oh, she's just jumping on tracks. Humming away. Oh. There's supposed to be three guys down there. She's too busy Nothing doing that. From the bodies, then. So again. Sorry, so there was uh, nothing else on the bodies. No, just their armor oh, equipment. No and then they can't go no worries. While they were doing this, Vex could have calmed down. He started looking at these blue mushrooms that are around the corner. Um, the Vic's proficient with herbalism kits. Is there anything that he could maybe tell about 
these mushrooms? Like, are they? Is there anything about them that you would know, or you know, if they do anything, or if they're particularly special, or? They fall, and they are. Um, they they've got some kind of um, illumination in them. Do you know, like do you know, like those fish was. Bio Is that yeah, bio That's the yeah. word. He's going to grab a good two or three of them and dash them away. Right. So while you're jumping around on the tracks up there, there's three guys. Are they yeah. Yeah, she's too and busy humming away, so if they attack her, it's up to them. She's found a plaything. So, like a... They, they don't have a clue you're there, jumping around. Yeah. Do I need to do a... Because my passive perception is quite high. Do I know that they're there? After a while, you will, yeah. Right, so I'm going to get to there. I'm going to see them. And then I'm just going to stop. And they haven't seen me. No, they don't know you're there. They're too busy. Loading things into the car. Oh. I am going to stealth. In fact, I'm going to pick up one of these little rocks and throw it at Roxy's direction to get get their attention. Yeah. Get their attention, or you... they're these guys, my group. Right. Okay. So she chucks a rock at you, and then. I'm going to stealthily try and move a bit, sort of, into a bit better position. Roll your stealth check, then. Stealth. 21. Yeah. Nice. You're pretty hidden. Yeah, I mean, fuck it, because she's threw a rock, and I've no understand why she's threw a rock, so can I just throw, like, a random limb for something that's dead that back at her? Yeah. <laughs> throw her body back. Yeah, basically, yeah. But I don't know if it'll alert them or not. <laughs> well, you don't know. You can't see them, can you? No, I just threw it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make my way down here. They're still loading their stuff in. I mean, feel areas. I think kind of saw the body that rocks through because he's out of the uh, around here just having a look around and starts making his way back yeah you notice there's two passageways he's going off before you come back okay um or... yeah be because of the flying body I I'm a little bit more intrigued as to why there's flying bodies at the moment you Oryx saw the stone, and he's, and he's seen Rock throw a body back. But he's going to go back over to the door, because he's more caught up in the mystery of the door, and he figures that Rock's throwing a dead body around at this point in the time is relatively normal. So <laughs> he's just going to assume it. He's just going to assume that, oh, Rock's is just playing around with dead bodies again. And I'm going to go back to the door, just looking at the door, trying to remember anything I can. Yeah. You definitely think there's you need some kind of puzzle or password to get through it. That's probably why the orcs have never got through it. Because they're not intelligent enough to do it. And the humans... The humans aren't bothered because... They're too busy trying to get the iron ore out of this place. Alright, I'm going to get to there. I'm going to move back a bit. How far away is that? Just so I know. I, I can actually see the human because the dark vision sees at 60 feet. Yeah, but you can see them. You can see them. What, what looks like they're loading rocks into the boxes. Yeah. So because I'm still quite far away, I kind of whisper shout at Oric and go, Oi, over here. 
I'm gonna I turned around. shoot oh, that one. Once I've got Oryx attention, I just kind of gesture, gesture down towards the humans. I'm assuming that's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Which one are you shooting? The one furthest away from me. Yeah. And he's dead. Good. Right, so these two start spinning around looking. They're pretty much surprised that their mates got shot in the face with an arrow. So you've got one round of surprise. So I can shoot him again? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to shoot that one then. When the... Oh, missed. That's a miss. He ducks. I think it's flying past his head. Then I'm shooting its tivs. Yep. Yeah. Unless they want to act on a surprise round. What are you I'm... not doing? I'm just seeing if I can actually... Get in range with javelin throw. I don't think I can. Twenty-five. Now move to the edge uh, here, to where uh, Hank just me to go. But I figured that's as much as I'll be able to get off in the surprise round. So I yeah. Now. Yeah. If I move down to there, so that's full thirty feet, and that's all I can do at the moment. Okay, die. you can dash, go full 60, but you'll take all your action. Never. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will do the full dash. So, well, are you doing Vic and Rocks? Doing anything? No, I'm just going to sit here and continue eating limbs. Yeah, but it's not really seen any of this. You've just seen the two of them wander off, and he's still in by his mushrooms, so he's just kind of walking away at them. Hey, uh, these tips. Um, oh, you're going to do well, aren't you, Mr. Bandit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he might, though. <laughs> Well, I actually rolled well for once on initiative. Are you rolling, Vic? Oh, you have, yeah. I come up as a 15. I keep forgetting to select the token. It was a 15. Um, uh, the I'll roll again to get yeah. on the backup. Yeah. Right. Send it. Right, Hank. So as he's now close enough to um the humans, he kind of takes a step forward and attacks with his great axe. Definitely a hit. And that's definitely dead. Ow. <laughs> oh. Runs out of the darkness, and they're like, "What the hell's going on?" He jumps in, <laughs> smashed. Body skids across the floor. <laughs> Is that you go? Yeah, that's me done. Mox. Well, seeing as he stole a kill, she's gonna go steal <laughs> the other one. Yeah, that's a hit <laughs> for five. He's not dead, though. He but sticks in. She's going to use a bonus action to cast Hunter's Mark and do an extra fall damage to it. That's nine. Still not dead. Sorry. Right. Sticks in his sticks in his side in his arm. Don't have many spell slots, but I'm going to have to use one eventually. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then she's just going to hide behind this corner. Auric. Auric's going to move 20 feet forward and launch a fireball. 
Yep. Oh. oh. Fumble. Is that your goal? Yeah, that's my goal. Got to that repair battle. the firebot machine. <laughs> that bandit's dead. Vic. Um. Where is Vic? <laughs> we have fewer rocks. <laughs> Going mushrooms in his bag. I'd be careful because rocks will nick one. <laughs> okay, so. I guess I'll just dash all the way in um, to there. See that they're all dead and just sigh and sag slightly. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Disappointment. <laughs> Box. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and continue eating, thank you. That's my turn. Bandit. Right, so he's just seen one of his mates get shot in the head with a bow, and then an orc come out of nowhere and kill the other one. So he's going to run. Five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, thirty, forty. He's going to run down here. That's his goal. Hank. Cool. Can I switch to my javelin and move 15 feet that way and chuck a javelin at him? Yep. <laughs> well, and stab myself in the foot, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just goes wild yeah. over his head. <laughs> Lands down here somewhere. Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to pop out from behind the corner and then work out like he's running. Step forward a bit. I'm going to go for him again. 16. That's a hit. 12. Yeah, he's dead. Shot straight in the back. He tumbles to the floor. My kill! And then just laugh. <laughs> I'll get more next time. She's going to continue having a skip and a hop down here. It's like but a maze. Hank, Hank's going to go pick up his javelin that he threw massively wild. Yep. And then he's going to come back and start investigating uh, that corpse. It's the same as all the rest of them. They've got okay. a few, few round metal objects on them. Their leather armor and their scimitar. Uh, no, that inter is interesting. Let me just reveal. Thanking you. Oh, are these walk throughable? Are they on the roof? They are. Yeah, you, you have to go through them. They're all thick spider webs. Oh, I'm not going through there. Hank kind of sees the pool over here and kind of moves down and have a have a bit of a nose. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite deep pool of water. It's full of spider webs back there. Don't want to be going that way. No. He was running this way though. I wonder what's down here. Yeah, I want to move down here too. Yeah. Down there, it looks like it's been mined, and there's there's rocks and stuff on the floor. But on the floor. Let me just put you onto it. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's these round discs with symbols on them. On the floor. It's... Okay, guys, we can, we can open this door. Right. See if anyone... Uh, yeah, so it says. Let me get to my bit. You may only move one disc, but you must end up with two rows, each made up of four discs. And it's a little puzzle. I think anyone can move the... I moved... I don't want to... Can you see them? Can you move the discs? Yeah. Yeah. So what was it again? You can only move... You can only move one disc, but you must end up with two rows, each made up of four discs. 
I'm just saying ignore it being dwarven, but never mind. Two rows of four, but we've got a row of four and a row of three. Are you missing one? No. I don't get it then. Two rows with four in each. That row's four. But that row's three, so there's missing one. Uh, no, that's not there. You must end up with two rows, each made of four discs. They are movable. They're like on the floor. Oh, right, I, I see what you mean now. So you must end up... That's the you can only move. You can only move one disc at a time. Only one disc. Right. Would people's like intelligence or wisdom play into this to see if they can see puzzles better than those who are less intelligently inclined? Uh, I'd like you to have a go first, and then I'll give you clues. Okay. Two rows of four, but we can only move one. Yeah. You may only move one disc, but you must end up with two rows, each made up of four discs. Oh, 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 I get it, 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 I get it. Right. Move this one down here. And then move this one. You can only move one disc. You said you at a time. One, no, you only have oh. to move one disc. All oh, right, okay, I get you then. Right, I haven't got it then. <laughs> Two rows of four. Hmm. No, you must end up with two rows, each made up of four discs. It's not two rows of four. That's exactly the same thing. It's not. No, not necessarily. You could have, you could have one... Two rows, each sharing one disc, so you could have... Yeah, that that was what my yeah. intention was, because yeah. I was thinking like like some sort of cross, but... I've got it. Oh no, it's not because it's three that way. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trying, trying to move them around, not move them around, so I can see it. <laughs> These tricky little dwarfs. They are fucking <laughs> tricky. I don't like this. This is confusing. The, the rows have to be straight, I'm assuming. I know it's a stupid question, but... What do you mean by straight? Like, straight. No. Like, is that, is that definitely like a 90 degree angle there at the moment? Like, for example, if I put that there, that that wouldn't be, like... Do you know what I mean? That's not two rows, that's... No, that's two not two rows. Row. one off at an angle kind of thing, do you know what I mean? They're not, yeah. yeah. So it's like, 
definitely 90 degrees. Well, it can't be that one. Because you listen to the if you listen to the words, you may only move only one disc, but you must end up with two rows, each made up of four discs. So it doesn't have to be four in a row. Well, one row could have four, and the other row could have three. You have to end up with two rows, but it must have four discs in it. So two rows, but four discs total. Or four discs in a row. So I'm getting confused now. I know you're trying to help, but it's just confusing me even more. Each made up of four discs. So each row has to have four? Yes. Right. And you need two rows. It's going to have to be something like one of them is going to have to, it's going to have to share one. Yeah. Uh, so you can only move one disc. You can only move mm. one disc, yes. Um, it would not be something like that then, no? No. There's a bottom... The one, the row that's going down has only got three in it. Can we put them on top? Can we put the discs on top of each other? I said you can move them, yeah. Well, why don't we just do that then? Then you hear a click. There you go. That's the puzzle. Oh. Two rows with four discs in each. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Arsehole and dwarfs. If I see any of these dwarves, I'm going to rip them open. <laughs> I'm going to rip the tongues out and cut their hands off. Yep, so I'll move you back. You move back to the map now. Oh, yeah. And Moxie's just going to put her both middle fingers up at these bloody stones, like, Ugh. So yeah, you hear a click. I'm just gonna kick a rock on the way out. Where? Well, see, see before they come out, while they've been doing that, I wasn't involved in the puzzle because the fucking gap's too big. Or the gap's too small for me to do, so I'm just shouting, What's happening down there? Fucking puzzles. Mushroom puzzles? No. Weird glowy symbols about things. With silly, silly solutions. Shiny things? Well, they might be shiny once we've worked out where the click came from. Do we know what kind of direction the click came from? Because I don't have a clue that that's actually a door. Yeah. Oh, I'm not on the right layer. So one thing with Roll20, you have to be on layers all the time, don't you? <laughs> this. So when you go around... Does it look noticeably different? Like, is it open or something? One side is lit up. There's a glow on one side. The letters on one side have lit up. Oh, that means there's another one. 
<laughs> oh, for, I'm gonna next time I see a dwarf, I'm not only gonna cut out his tongue and cut off his hands, I'm gonna cut off his feet as well. Where there, where there? Can you see down there? No. Oh, you haven't got around there yet. Reveal. Hey, I'm calling them dwarfs. I don't actually know what that's what they're called. So you can you see four. Who's that? That Hank. Yeah, you see yeah. four people. Looks like they're guarding a makeshift wooden doors, cage slight thing. Oh, they're not on there, are they? No, I was about to say, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> right, DM layer. Right. Oh, it's... get rid of. I can't select them. Are you on the select at all? No. That's three. Three, and there's one here. Token layer. All right, there we go. So uh, at the moment, is it just this dude I see at the moment? Yeah. The other's kind of hidden. And can he see me? Are you trying to hide? Um, no, I, at the moment it's just... Can, can he see? <laughs> yeah, he sees you. But he's... He's gonna try... He's gonna try and get out of the sight of you. Like, hide around the corner a bit. Okay. So, I'll start... So you see him, he sees you, and he, he moves out of your view. Right. If I, I kind of turn to the rest of the guys and supposed to be pink squishy things ahead. Oh. I'm going to try stealth to sort of edge around the edge. Stealth. I got a 23. Yeah. Yeah. Can I be a dick and try and mimic her in stealth as well? <laughs> yeah. Anyone can try and stealth. That's about how I thought of it go. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn back to rocks and go. I'm just gonna set down another half. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna edge around the corner. So, let me have a look. Now that I'm kind of out of, he's moved out of view. Am I able to go into stealth as well, or because I've been seen? Is that it? Yeah, you can try. It's still, you can, if you think about it, you can still be silent so you don't. They don't know you're coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Right. So from there, I can see them too. Yeah. But I haven't seen them too. No. Even from that place. No, there's a you'd wall have, in the way. You'd have to get to there to see them. And as soon as I get a bit closer, I'm assuming the doll to see me anyway. I got a 13 on stuff, I think. Not bad. They're gonna... I don't want to say, but they're gonna ready an action for you to come around the corner. But they're not... Unless you're writing... Right in their view, like stood here, we aren't going to see any, especially mocks or Vix well, or even you. Mox. So if the ogre, so basically if the ogres are out there, they're definitely going to see him because he's kicking rocks and <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> well, he's not a very stealthy ogre. I'm going to get to there. Get... I'm going to draw my longbow i'm gonna look at all the others make sure everybody's in position now see before anything goes down can i try and be a wee bit of a dick here <laughs> can I you roll can a certainly try can I roll a perception check you roll one on me oh. Oh, fuck. 
No, I've seen what they're doing. I was kind of hoping that I would roll low, so I just walked right out into the middle of it and didn't even mm-hmm. notice what they're doing. But I've kind of seen what they're doing, and I've just sat, just kept sat down and let them go on with it. <laughs> I mean, you could be a dick and know what we're doing and do it anyway. Mm. Isn't Roxanne on like one health? <laughs> That's why I'm sitting down because I've seen what you are doing. I'm thinking, nah, fuck it. Just sit- <laughs> they can deal with it. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to shoot at that one at the very end. See, as he hasn't seen me, he needs to go. I'm assuming that's a hit. Yeah, which one? This one? This one at the very end, yeah. I'm assuming that gives everybody a surprise round. He's like, ah! So, yeah, get your surprise round. Cool. Hang, in this surprise round, Hank's going to charge forward the full 30 feet, and that should bring him in range. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. To, to there, and make a swing with his great axe. Yep. That's a miss. Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> don't we need initiatives again, don't we? We do. Unless anybody else is doing anything. I'm going to move 10 feet forward. I'm not sure. Uh... Oh, rolled terribly. Keep forgetting that. Oh, that was even worse. One of them for all of last time. I did get 20 on my first initiative, and then it went down to 8. Forgot to click on the character. Yeah, if he, if he rolled high, we can do it. Uh, who was it? Uh, Hank. Hank. Hank's yeah. got 20. Uh, Rox, you need to roll again so that we can alter it. It didn't go on the Oh, did order. it? No, I did, I did click the thing right enough. Yeah, he cleared the turn order. You did it too quick. Right. Oh, what did you? Get? So rocks needs to be changed to an eighteen. I'm gonna use my surprise round to just cast Sham Sham Shamon. It changes every time. <laughs> Vic needs to be changed to a five. I don't mind the four, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't make much Six difference, a but... Yeah. Right, Hank, you come flying out of darkness. Miss with your first go. But there's going to be a follow-up. Yeah. 16. That's a hit. Who are you hitting? Uh, don't guy directly in front of me. Yeah, he's dead. He's... Splat against the... The cage, and you hear a cheer Rah! behind them. There you go. Yeah, that's me, dumb. Rocks. Um. I move to there then and throw a javelin at him. Yep. Yeah. If I know how to fucking do it. I don't actually... I've got javelins, but I don't actually have it as an action in my thing. If you equip them, they'll have a little checkbox to equip them. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nineteen, yeah, that's a hit. Is it this one? Yeah, it was him at the end. Yeah, he gets pinned to the wall. Javelin. Straight through his neck. So he's dead. I do like a bit of kebab. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. You're going to move up there. 
Yes, come into my line of sight. They go straight for the orc who just charged at him. First one, second one. Both miss. Swing wildly. They're too busy pissing their pants, that's why. Yeah. All right. I move 15 feet forward, and I launch the fireball at this one here. That's a hit. No. Is it this one? Yeah. He's not dead, but he's on fire. <laughs> Screaming. Oh, <sighs> Is that your go? Yeah, that's the end of my go. Mox. She's going to creep around the corner a bit. She's going to get to there, and she's going to laugh at the one burning and screaming, and shoot at the other one because she quite likes hearing them scream. They make nice noises. Certainly do. Oh, oh no. Do your damage. Yeah, he's dead. And then she's going to laugh at the one that's running around on fire screaming. They make nice popping noises when they're burning as well. <laughs> Yeah. The hair, yeah. Crackling noises. Vic. Um, he's gonna see the guy who's on fire, and the eyes are gonna go wide, and he's just gonna charge in, screaming, um, flailing the bone club, um, mm -hmm. and smack him in the face. Hopefully. Maybe not. <laughs> it's a mess. Off. Hank. And a bonus Bar. action disengage. Move back. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I see the dude that's on fire and just swing my axe at him. That's a hit. Six damage. He's, yeah, he's dead. I'm just going to roll my eyes yeah. and tut. I was enjoying the show. <laughs> my kill <laughs> yeah but that one back there set him on fire first <laughs> still my kill <laughs> <laughs> keeping track are you <laughs> right what's going on here what's this right it looks like a makeshift cage and there's three orcs in there oh cage rocks <laughs> Yeah, before I do that, can I go and retrieve my javelin? But I don't want to remove the guy from it. I just want it to remove from the wall. And can I fling it over my shoulder with the guy still attached? Yeah, you can do that if you want. Yeah, I can move him and wow. Um, He's back from a given body. Right, so... Let him out. Alright, can you make a perception test? Go Uh, mm. Anyone else want to make a perception test? I'll make I'll a perception test. Yeah, 19. Yeah. You notice there's a rod sticking out this wall on this side and one on this side. Like metal spikes. Okay, so if I, if I point out the rod that's next to Vic and say, Oi, pull on that. Whilst I go up to... The one that's up here. And, and pull on it as well. Yep. Yeah, I'll so, grab it and dangle from it. Hank, <laughs> you take four hit points from electricity damage. <laughs> and Vic, you take three. Oops. Um... <laughs> Can I, before I even touch this cage, after seeing that happening, can I pick up one of the bodies and throw it at the fence? Yeah, it's just a wooden fence, it just bounces off. I'm wondering, is there the somewhere else? 
Maybe Maybe in there. Break the fence. Yeah, just break the break the fence a minute. I'm thinking that's the puzzle for the door. Oh, oh let us out. Why the fuck should I? Because I want to get out. Good enough reason. <laughs> but maybe I don't want to let you out. What's in it for me? I'll make you worth your while if you let us out. Do you know anything about the door? What door? The old metal slab? Oh, never mind. Leave them in there. It's fine. No, but there might be something in there relating to the door. I want to get in. I want to have a look. Wait, well, can I just try and break the fucking thing there? Can, before Rox does that, can I just kind of do a perception check around where I'm stood, just see if there's anything else like there is around the other side? As in what? Uh, is it like any glowing things on the door for uh, on the floor for like runes or anything like that? No. Nope. There's nothing. Uh, let me reveal things. There's just them two metal spikes. I'll be staying well clear of them. Are you gonna let us out? I'm gonna tap rocks on the shin and give him guidance, just in case he wants to do something in the next minute. Do you want me to try and rip this fucking thing open then? Go for it. Alright, fucking stand back, I'll give us the shots. Right, then just a strength then. Yep, strength. Rip its door off. Plus D4. No. You pull and pull, and it's just too sturdy for you. Can I take a run at it? <laughs> Run right I'll, give, I'll, I'll give you one more go at a run up. I was gonna say, could could I help Rox with it? Yeah, it gives him advantage if you help him. Yeah, so I'll come down and say to Rox on on three, and both pull. I get advantage this time. You do, yeah. Oh yeah, you just rip his star off. He <laughs> <laughs> smashes in half. Thanks, big lad. No problem. Right. Fucking old me. <laughs> I want to try something. They stole my slaves. That's what he says. I'll make it worth your while to get them back. We need to get farming these mushrooms. But yeah, what do you want to do? I want to be moving these bodies in a line between the two spikes. Sort of touching each other. Right. I don't know where the spikes are. Yeah. I can't move the bodies either. So I want to move them so they're in a line in between them. Yeah. They're laid on the floor in a line. It's about... Four foot up, the spikes. Yeah, that... that, that... I will not be able to fucking reach it anywhere. <laughs> Um, um, we broke these guys out boxes, and they fucking know as one. Make them hold it. <laughs> what what I was thinking was is connecting them via bodies. Yeah, and get a fucking orc to hold on to the thing and hold on to a body each. Yeah, I'm go on. I can touch it. Why well, do I want to do that? Let's use you. Well, no, I can't. I can't reach it for one. I fucking told you to. What? I'm not touching that. He, he lets you keep people. Well, it's either that or you don't make it out of this fucking game then, innit? Hank just kind of grabs hold of his axe again. It's like, do you like keeping your head on your shoulders? Alright, then they'll touch the spikes. No, connecting the bodies. How are you going to connect the bodies? Well, they can touch each other. Like, put them out so that their arms are outstretched and their hands are touching. Are they on the floor? Yes. All right, then. The electric... So it goes, goes through. But because they're on the floor, it goes straight to Earth. 
Yeah, but what? What? Yeah, the bodies, it'll just go directly down into the earth if something's touching the ground. Yeah, but if flesh is touching each other, it would go through the, all the bodies as well. Yeah, but earth is always... Yeah, but it would always go down. Yeah. Yeah. And I want one of the orbs to move over to the other spike. And they, can the orc move over to the other spike? And when I say, can he pull the spike at the same time that I pull it? To see if that makes a difference. I'll take the damage. So, yeah. So you're pulling the spike and he's pulling the spike on the other side? At the same time, though, because I don't think they did that before. Or at least it wasn't specified. I want to know if this makes a difference. No, it doesn't make a difference, and you take your damage. Six. Oh my god. And then the orc takes four on the other side. That boss started laughing at what just happened. <laughs> it's just fucking funny, this. <laughs> there is a way of doing it without earthing it. Well, no matter what, we're going to be touching the floor, so... Yeah, but we're about to find uh, something that can break it to them. I think directly the ground. As long as it's not directly how, touching the ground, it won't how, it. how tall is Auric, Mox, and Vix? <laughs> Mox is like three feet tall. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mox is like three feet. So I'm just wondering if Hank and Rox can hold... Or the, the orcs are better targets, I must say, to hold that. And then because you three are also sure, if they hold you up, you won't be touching the floor. Yeah, yeah but they will be. It just uh, for the two orcs. Can we see if there's any like bars or wires or anything like that that are lying around that we could bridge the gap with? Is there anything in the like, wait, wait, area? wait, 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 wait. What about... What... what about the wood? Standing on the wood? However, if wood's conductive... Oh... I'd rather see if there was something not organic to bridge the gap with. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, definitely like, madness, we're just repeating the same thing over and over again. Is there any wire or chain? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Wood does not conduct electricity. No. Do mushrooms? No, I'm looking. Are there any wires or chains inside of the... the, the, the den where the orcs are kept? Why, why don't we all... We, we line up, we hold on to it and we all jump at the same time. <laughs> We're about pushing some cats right I mean, I mean, I mean, the goblins won't be on the floor anyway because we'd be all held up. But anybody's touching the ground, jump. Then we won't be touching the ground, and it'd just go through, wouldn't it? I'd say that as, as an invitation to all of us getting electrocuted. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've, I've blown my electrocution card. If I get hit with a six again, I'm, I'm unconscious. <laughs> So, I, I can't help, unfortunately. Why are we using the caps? Push the caps around? Although, I would lo like to look for some chains inside of this. I would say, if you did hold hands and then jumped, it would go through you and then to the other side. So that split second as it goes through you all, it wouldn't earth. Who's Auric, who's... Would die if it was all going conscious through six, wasn't it? Because I can stand between these two orcs here, and they're basically holding me up, so I'm not touching the ground yeah. for a start. I can go to that one, and then one of the others can kind of go to that one. Yeah. You're doing the jump one. one. I'm on six, and how big is Vic? Vic's little like me. So, 
worth bearing in mind that I'm the only person with heals, so if you, if you die and drop, at least I can bring you back up. But if I die and drop, we're fucked. Yeah. I don't know how high a ogre can jump, because I could do it where Henk is, and I, you wouldn't need another person, but... You're on one HP. I'm on one HP, and I don't know how high I can jump. Yeah, I don't know how high I can jump being a fucking 60 stone 10 foot <laughs> ogre. Although, I suppose, <laughs> as long as I'm off the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. What the fuck's I got to lose? I'm just going to sit on the ground and watch. Though. It's fascinating. Alright then. Are you doing it? Yeah, as soon as <laughs> soon as they touch the spikes, <laughs> they've got to jump. Yeah. I would, if just I, clapping his hands. If, if, if I was evil, I'd make you do some kind of jump, some checks. And do, <laughs> do I'm dangling time. in the air, so I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've, I've kind of peered over the orc and seen you dangling and pushed myself up. <laughs> They're holding me up, like, you know, like how you hold a, you lift a child up. Yeah. <laughs> the arms, swinging. swinging them, swinging wildly. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yes, as you when you as soon as you grab hold of it, you jump. The electricity goes through you lot and into the other side, and you hear a click. See, I was right. What's the damage? You don't take damage because it goes straight through. Ah, uh, what? You only die. Excellent. The Vic looks very disappointed at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Cowards! So the cowards, rocks. The cowards. Because <laughs> you can bring back to the Wait, 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 wait. No, you free. free. <laughs> Fuck off. <up. laughs> wait, hang on. But they didn't give us anything for letting them out. Well, we were going to try and make some kind of deal, but you've all run off. I can't I laugh. Anyway, well, yeah. Hank's still there and close enough. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you then. You have a, we think you have a leader anyway. Hang on. <laughs> I take offence to that. <laughs> right. We want, we need you to uh, try and help us get back our slaves from these pinkons. The deal we'll give you is you could take these mushrooms we've got now. But as soon as we get our slaves back, we will supply you with with the mushrooms from the mines. All right, kind of. Uh, sorry, Hank kind of looks at Orcus. That. What do you think? It's a good deal, lad. Keeping you from being attacked again, and supply being stopped again. Well, hopefully, you might have some guards, and we can uh, better defend it. But we need the slaves. Where where are these slaves? They've probably been held near the town further north. There's a small fort like building. Hmm. It'd be easy enough for you lot to in and out. And I can say, yeah, why not? Like, we need to secure supply for my things anyway. Yeah, th this will help with the surprise. But we, yeah. we, we want my friends to take before we get your space back as well. Now again. We want to take some mushrooms before we get your space back as well. As, uh, he, yeah, you can. Uh, he said you can have the, the supply of mushrooms within the boxes. If you get the slaves back, we can fly your war effort. Hang just turns around and just instantly goes, yes, deal. Okay, that's good. It's not simply a deal for White Hunt, it's a deal for White Hunt's new warlord, who will be taking over very, very soon, and his name is Agronat. That's fair enough. Remember that, because this is who the deal is with, not with the current lord. That's fair enough. 
My my main's right. All right, so the, he's literally going to run over to the door because being uh, 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 a scholar, he's, he really wants to know what's behind the door. We'll leave that for next week. Tap 11, in it? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> So yeah, getting a bit late. Good game, guys. Good game, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. definitely. The surprise <laughs> behind the door. It's a good time to finish it. I, I am so confused like that. Like, even now. Yeah, let's grab it and jump. <laughs> Go for a oh, bio dude. and come back and he's finishing it. He's half eleven. I wanted to see what's behind the door. <laughs> yeah, but then it's a supl- surprise for next time. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah. Just remember, you have got the other two that didn't make it. So you've got, yeah. you've got to get them into it. So that we're not sat around with them doing nothing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Three, there's no three. Is the three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, yeah, yeah he didn't show up. No shout, no show. Yeah. It would have been nice to have let us know, but shit happens sometimes. Yeah. I'm sorry he'll let us know what happened. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool.